Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Liar Live. It is Tuesday, it's October 15th, and we have a full capacity crew here on the show. Joining us in the booth, as always, the mastermind behind the chaos, Cody Hall is here, uh, Mark Riley, Josh Makuga, the Queen of Death, and the Roxinator, Roxy Stryer. We're all here. Uh, and one of the main reasons why we're here is not only because, we, like I told you guys, we're doing a pre-tape and that'll air on um, Thursday. We wanted to be here because it is official. The Halloween Horror Nights is live on the Yay! channel right now. Frank, 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 yeah, Frank, yeah, Frank, got Frank, it. Frank, 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 Josh, 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 Josh. Frank got it on there. We just watched it. We watched, it's about 11 minutes of, of just pure wonder. Are you um, recovered? I mean, I, I will never do that again. No. Ever. You'll never go to another haunted so, maze. Yes. I mean, unless it's for a show. Right. But I, I deserve, I, I want payment the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was payment. asked to go that this Thursday again for a similar situation to what we had, like walk through all the lines oh. stuff. I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether I should or shouldn't. You what? missed some mazes. Why, so. do you have a friend that's scared of stuff like me? Uh, no, they're really into it. Uh, Super no. duper into uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm just curious, like, is it going to be as fun? Because... The, right. That was so legit. Like that was the best. Time. You want to ruin it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I already saw. Well, you know, it's it's never well, going to be as fun with him, without him. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, know. it's a completely you different experience. What a bunch of dicks! Yeah. <laughs> like the guy was like terrified out of his mind, and we're just, it, it. It truly was one of the best nights <laughs> in a long time. Yeah, yeah. It really. Saul was. said he like legitimately felt bad for Josh. And was, like, <laughs> Did he watch it? Yeah, no, no. Before oh, it even before. came out, just the fact that we were going, Saul was like. Yeah. Uh, the guys, this is uh, like uh, my heart feels for him. Well, but when it's you, actually sad. And I told him this. I think we even mentioned it on the air. My favorite part about all of it is he's scared of his mind, but he has this big smile on yeah. his face through all of it. I think because like my smile is the same as like my scare yell. Do you cry or do you smile at funerals? What? <laughs> you, you never seen that? The people that like get really at funerals, they don't know what to they do with their face. They don't know what to do with their face. Oh, like, yeah. No, I mean, that. Like, I, people I, smile at funerals right. just because they don't know what to do with you. their emotions. Yeah. So they just smile. No, no. Dorina just laughs uncontrollably yeah. anyway. She's I just want like, to see their spirits. Yeah. But if you've Death never has made seen it. I've I mean, never been so happy in that video because I know. Those. I'm sorry, but thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 It was good stuff. No, I, I, I would usually cry at a funeral. Oh, okay. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? I, I mean, as somebody who has been to way too many funerals, that uh, there's always like the group of people who sit there and they kind of <laughs> have this like glazed over smile look on their face. Oh. Like I think that's called shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> totally. I don't judge them for it, but they mm, just have to point them yeah, out. I mean, some people yeah. just laugh that, and tell stories because yeah, Irish. Yeah, yeah, Irish yeah, waves yeah. are the best. My, but that's how I picture you at Halloween Horror Nights. Like you actually, you're yeah. crying inside. Side, but really, you're smiling on the outside. Well, I'm always usually smiling, right? Like, I'm a smiley guy. Um, they call I like, you Smiles Magoo. <laughs> yeah, in, uh, old, old Smile and Josh. Yeah. Smile, that's right, Smile and Josh yeah. Magoo. Well, yeah. I feel you'd go from like, Mr. okay, it's gonna Magoo. be okay, it's gonna be okay to ah, ha, ha, run Marjorie Rabbit, yeah. and you, the, you, those are like your two emotions the whole night. Yeah, totally. Um, I'm I, grabbing people. If yes, that counts as an emotion. I felt bad for that one girl that I scared the crap out of. It was funny though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I even funny. say it in the video, I'm like, sorry, I don't know you. And then the other <laughs> one is like, who's this guy? But you held that guy for a good minute. Yes. Maybe more. And he was smiling. You were. He went with it. He loved it. Him like he was your Zoe or whatever. Yeah. Joey. What is that called when you're a kangaroo? Joey. Joey. Yeah. yeah. It he, reminded me you, of the 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 yeah the picking rack. up the guy yeah. in the rack and totally. then putting him down. It's because the guy because it was like a video game character. It did this? He did this guy did the same exact thing. It if you watch the video, it, it's true. He grabs him. He holds him. The guy just stands there like hold. He blurred his face out in the video. But yeah. he's, he's kind of smiling. <laughs> Josh lets him go. He just keeps walking. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't doesn't <laughs> say anything to anybody. But oh, that was weird. He saw that we had cameras and was like. Like okay, I'm kind of safe. Yeah. Like I'm so totally, safe. but 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 still, the reaction was a video game reaction. You know, like, yeah. like what what was a uh, Grand Theft Auto where you, where, boop, boop, you take yeah you take oh. one of the players. Like he's do a something, Sims character. They just keep walking, <laughs> yeah. and he didn't stop and go. All right, let me see what else happens here. No, he just kept walking like he was going on his yeah. adventure before he was uh, interrupted. I'm You'll so notice. happy though that we put the GoPro on you because yeah. that yeah. angle yeah. is oh, just yeah. beautiful. Was, yeah. Shout well, out that's, filmmaking. So shout out to Universal. Thank you guys so much for having us. Halloween Horror Nights, amazing. And it's not the only one. And Lindsay and Sarah, you guys were great. Thank you very much for yeah, that and I've tolerating been, us. <laughs> I want to now go to the one in Florida. Maybe we should go, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, Me yes. too. I hear it's way bigger. Let's take so. a trip. I don't know what I'm going to I'm going to see if I can try to do something on Friday. My brother wants to go to either Disney, uh, Disney World or Universal. With your mom, think. too? She may or may not. She'd probably just go chill out at the hotel. So I don't know yet. I don't know. Go to Horror Nights again, man. <laughs> 
I mean, it's different. It's you'll fun. see. You'll it's see. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went good. for him. Like I, I don't. Get, I didn't get scared of those things. Like, well, I got a couple creeped out uh, moments during the us one. Yeah. Um, but that was a good maze. It was a good one. Can you the, guess? The mazes were, were great. Yeah. I just don't get scared in those. Things. Can you guess the number one reason I want to go back on Thursday? It depends if the you guys have been Yes, yeah. it's all yeah. the only one. Because it was so yeah. good. Yeah. It was, yeah. I literally was like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I go. The, yeah. At that Jurassic Park bar. What, park bar. what was it called? I don't oh, know. Bar New Bar. Isla New Bar. Number two. Isla New Bar. And you went through so many ranges of emotions during that because it was the frustration of finally getting a drink. Yeah. You're not exaggerating about it. You're being totally serious. No, I was really frustrated. And you were really frustrated. You got on the line. Then you said, rum, that's all I have is rum. I don't know if I want rum. I made that known to Everybody. Everyone. Everyone. I went up to every person and was like, Are you going to have rum? Sucks rum. rum. Are you going to have rum? So are, you gonna you gonna have rum? rum? Yeah. are you going to have rum? What are you going to have, Judge? Are you going to have rum? And then, like that, yeah. it was, <laughs> she wouldn't shut the fuck yeah. up about yeah. this being Because it was delicious. But it was. what I will say yeah. is, I'm always willing to admit when I'm wrong, yes. and I'm always willing to change my mind. Right. And my mind was changed. I now have been converted. I love rum. <laughs> Where's I all love the rum. rum gone? <laughs> yeah, I love it's rum really, really for good. sure. It was so good. Well, there you go. <laughs> that drink was gold. It was good for so those it, people out there that think that I was that I fake this oh, thing because yeah, like, for the yeah. bit. You should watch the video because as the video goes on, I get more and more sweaty. I want to yep. look at the comments. Well, no, you Did can you can see the the, the fear in your face, yeah. especially with that GoPro angle. Like you can see that you're just yeah. you're you're really you don't know what's going on. You're wait you're you're on alert. Yeah. It's, it's like I've never seen you more nervous. I'm, in aged life. I'm not that good of an actor. Yeah. You've I seen Plasterhead. I haven't checked any comments yet, so I'm going to look at some of the comments. Okay. Now. Good. Uh, uh, no. I haven't watched, but is the part of the video in there where I explain why you're not faking it? Uh, Did they put I that in there? No. Oh, I, the, I mean, whenever you think that he's faking it, just think about the fact that this this doesn't make him look good. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not in a mean way. Like when you're gonna fake correct. it, you do yeah. it to make yourself look cooler. So far, but you explained it really well in the video. So far, only one moron from what I've seen so far. But this is, uh, let's see. It says I tried to keep myself. I tried to keep it to myself without bursting out laughing. Uh, it's oh my god, this is the best video ever. Thank you to the whole crew and especially Josh and Wendy for doing this. Finally, but worth the wait. Glad to see Christian say uh, Wendy faced her fears and Josh. Josh faced her fears. Either way, I'm in tears <laughs> from laughing. Is that uh, what you said? Yeah. Uh, wow, it's rare for me to leave a positive comment here, but thank you for making my morning. <laughs> sorry to Wait, laugh. At, oh, all right. Well, you know who we should send this to? No, hold on, let me finish. Sorry, sorry to laugh at your expense, Josh, but wow, that was worth the wait. You guys did not disappoint, and this is the moron. Uh, fake. Yeah. Uh, fake. Uh, dummy. Uh, headphone users beware. Because of the screams, yes. obviously. Uh, turn, <laughs> turn your volume down. Poor Wendy Lee. Makuga deserves all the food and all of the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And said, so did they really cut all those hours of footage only down to 11 minutes? That's disappointing. Um, disappointing. How much more can you want? Well, people want the, th they already said they want three hours of the Snyder Cut of this. <laughs> That's really funny. The Snyder Cut. <laughs> right. Rebecca M. Ford. Oh, you yes. got to send this to her and say, I hope this helps. If you're out there, Twitter, yeah. right now, which I think you probably are, just tag. Rebecca M. Ford. You guys, there's a few Rebecca Fords. May is Rebecca M. Ford on Twitter. Just send her the link of this video <laughs> and tag. Sorry for screaming at us. Just say, just say that. Just say us like the movie. Like us like the movie, and then hashtag at Collider Live and say please come on the show. That's the only tweet we want. Sorry for screaming during us. Please come on Collider Live. That poor woman will and, never and, escape you. And tweet because we want her to come on the show because this would be the ultimate wrap up of the us and Halloween experience is getting Rebecca M. Ford on the show to describe my screams and how you, unfake they are. You have a better chance of getting <laughs> The Rock and Brad Pitt on this show than you do the, than you do that one. I love this That's comment. True. This was pure annulter. Annul Unadulterated un un exploitation, and I loved every second of it. Yeah, yeah. there was, basically one, what there was it is. one said, "No grown man can really be scared. This has to be fake." So, and I wrote back, "You clearly don't clearly don't watch the show." Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are we yeah. starting it this early, Christian? Is that what's happening? Yeah, you, yeah. you should respond. That's Always what's You have very long legs, even though you pretend that you're short. Because I don't how I I I, I, I you like kicked me the last action. week. I, yeah. I believe her that once, you're, mes you're only messing. Once. Up. No, she does I it all the time. Look where my feet are. The fact that he's kicking me, just, I have not moved. Yeah. I can my see effing everything. Feet. So I, don't know I will monitor. Those are some legs. good shoes. You. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, but I'm, look, 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 look I'm looking. But look at how much room. Look how much room I have. I don't, you can't extend, if I extend my leg, I'll kick her in the in the ass. Yeah, but the table's not that big in her legs. That's what I'm saying. So what do you want me to do? I you literally could not out. reach you if I tried. I could. That's what okay. she said. Christian, <laughs> keep your feet back. I'm not an extended Roxy, leg extend guy. your legs. 
Extend your legs, Roxy. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I are. can't. Be. I know. I'm trying. How many times do they pick you? Don't make me it's like we're all in the car, <laughs> and Riley's like, <laughs> "Take it, Roxy." Too, too, right. too, right. too, <laughs> too many people on this. There's way too many people on the show. La 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 la. Way too many people on the show today. Dad, Josh is looking at me weird. Oh boy. Yes, too many people on the show today. All right, let's uh, let's thank you. I thought we were doing a staring contest. Yeah. I won. What what's anything else go on yesterday for the people want to talk about before we move into news? Uh, you're going to news at ten minutes in? I said, is there anything else that happened to <laughs> you oh, guys? I've got some things. Like oh, what? you watch stuff. I'm just prepping you guys for tomorrow so that I'm not disappointed with all of the men in the room. What? I'm getting my hair done today oh. after the show. Me too. So tomorrow. It's not a Me Too. No, situation. no, I am. I'm saying oh. Me Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a haircut. Well there. said, Roxy. It's no, it's not a Me Too situation. I literally man. can't. I can't hear Me Too anymore. No, I'm getting my hair. I'm getting my hair. You as well. There. Yes. Uh, I am going to not have roots anymore. It's going to be blonder. And tomorrow, when I come in, all of you are so politely going to say, "Roxy, I love your Christian. hair." Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah. No. It just says no. Yeah. Wait, so you but you know they're all going to forget and not notice. So less ombre, yeah. more blonde. Well, uh, because, yes, yes, no. yes. I would like to go pink, but I told you I'm in a wedding in two weeks. And mm, she, they want to say, she said, no. Oh, you want to color your whole head pink? Mm -hmm. But that does she have the right cool. to tell you that? Do, do that? Um, I don't know, but would you be annoyed if somebody in your pictures had yes. bright pink hair? And I will tell yeah, you probably, why. Probably, probably. So because, I get it. Yeah, I get it too. Because, because you don't like neck tattoos. Uh, that as well. Right. Uh, R.I.P. Mario. Um, the uh, <laughs> it's a good bet. It yeah, really it really is. <laughs> uh, so one of Amanda's bridesmaids, which is so weird. Like there was, you know, there's always drama around whatever. She gets married and she had this lovely long blonde hair, and then she cut her hair into like a little German boy, and she that's what she showed up to our wedding like a week before our wedding, and. Amanda was like, what in the farts is going on? Now, you can't tell somebody how to keep their hair. It's not like it's a show or whatever. But Amanda's like, I would have liked you to warn me maybe like a week after our wedding. Because our wedding picture is literally like, beautiful girl, beautiful girl, German boy? Little girl, like, beautiful girl, beautiful girl. What, what is this person doing here? Like, who is that? Why do they have a bowl cut? It's about them now. Yeah. It does not about you guys and your pictures. Yeah. No. It's about David Spade. Totally. Right. My bot yes. mitzvah the day before my brother wanted to surprise me, so he bleached his hair. Oh, oh nice. Nice. And the pictures <laughs> are so atrocious. Yes. Like, he, But now you have good photos. We all wore like these pink outfits, and he has this fire white hair, <laughs> tips frosted. It was so, he was like, I thought you'd like it. I it's was like a Super like, Mario oh Brothers God. movie. Yeah. Have you, you ever frosted your Mario. tips? No. No. Yeah, I know. I never That's did so either. Ellis did. Yeah. Ellis you never? Did. I really would have thought you would Can you no. do that tomorrow? No. Oh. You had an eyebrow pierce or no? No. Nose? Yes. No. No. Ear. You don't, you didn't. No, nose, nose no is piercings? a scar. Uh, okay. ear. Like, my ear is like 87 times. Oh, man. Because, because my, my, I was too, because my friend would do it for, my roommate would do it at college, mm -hmm. would do it for me. But then if I took it out, it closed up. It's so closed I just, just do it again. So I have like six holes in each yeah. one. Was, like, oh. was it because of Harrison Ford? Her no, no, no. No, I, I, no, I had a, look. I had a hoop when I first moved here. It was the 90s. It was the a 90s. Hoop. But it was a hoop it with that skull cap? Wait, I'm going to say that. That was 10 years ago. I'm going to save myself later. and just ask a blanket statement. Any other piercings? No, but I knew I had a friend who who, who did the Prince Albert. Oh, man. Right? Oh, no. Yeah. And, How, though? But oh. listen, listen. He did the Prince Albert. I certainly Is didn't look at penis? it. But yeah. 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 But in the balls? What he, but, in uh, the balls? It's in the back. So it's right at the tip of the end of the shaft, the beginning of the balls. But I'll, but I'll <gasps> tell you. Through the balls! <laughs> no, it's not through the balls. It's through the skin of the of the shaft. No, yeah. not in a million years could you get me to do that. Right. Oh, However, I went. I hung out with this guy. How for, much money? Uh, had, did it cost him? Or no, what would you do it for? Nothing. But but so listen, we were at party, and we were like nineteen years old. We were at parties, and I can't tell you how many women asked him to see it. Uh huh. I can't and, tell you. And yeah. what did he do? Show it He would to go him? behind the corner, and, and nine out of ten times he'd wind up. He was a good-looking yes. guy too, but you wind up hooking up with with, totally. with a girl. And it's nineteen years old. I but don't I'm think like, I would have sex with somebody who had that kind of. That's brain. why they wanted to. They were well, curious about it. Mm -hmm. Like that, his mind was like, I would like to pierce my yeah. balls. Yeah. I, I want to pierce somebody's balls. It's not a piercing balls. of the balls. <laughs> it's not a piercing of the balls. That would literally oh, ruin God, any chance of having children, and I think that's illegal. Like you can't like pierce your balls. No, you, because, because, I, it's legal, yeah. but it's bad for you. Yes. <laughs> you can't do yeah, it. you can't pierce your balls. You can pierce the skin of your body, but you really can't. I, I would pierce rather an organ. somebody pierce their penis hole. <laughs> well, that's been done before. Yeah, yeah I'd rather that. Oh. I just remember. Because I would feel that. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. rather that than like. Why did you pierce the? 
the base of I your think penis. it's for like a, I think it's a uh, like a it's almost like the piercing yeah. of the clitoris. Clitoris. Did, like, I knew a girl that did that. Yeah, yeah. I did. I I, I mean, in college, I you was there. No, oh. I was there, and I was like, "Whoa!" So you have one of these? And she was like, "Yep." And I was like, "All right, well, this isn't your first go around. All right, right here right, we right. go. This is going to be." Fun. I don't like that either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. That it was you like know of. no. She right. was. <laughs> I know. Uh-oh. 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 That was a situation. I mean, I had my nipple pierced. So Disney Plus is coming out. So, yeah. <laughs> Disney, New show. Disney Plus. Disney piercing. 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 Oh. They got a whole slate, man. Oh, like what you did there. Just move forward? No, a whole slate. Oh. Of nipple Kip piercing. Piercing. Forget it. I mean, I've told the story. We're good here. rhythm, guys. So Getting far, my guys. nipple pierced. I got my nipple pierced. Yeah, 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 yeah. your dad. The whole story. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought yeah. it was your belly button. No, no, my buddy, my idiot buddy, Rich, got his belly oh. button as a joke, <laughs> and then it got <laughs> infected, and he had to leave our senior trip early. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to do one right now, Christian, what part of your body are you getting pierced that isn't your ears? You got to do it. I, you know, so Mike my Citizen, leg? Did yeah, you my leg, <laughs> Mike Citizen. <laughs> Um, who was Degni knows guy yeah. on, uh, my friend. He he had Tommy Lizzo. He had a, uh, a like a little diamond in his nose. It actually looked good. It lo- it, it, no, it worked. And it's another one. But want. it was another. No, probably not. Very but I, I don't think I could pull it off. But I just remember, like, again, oh, he's also a good looking guy. I think that the guy could have pierced his whole fucking face and he still would have gotten late. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, what about tattoos? Do you guys have tattoos? No. I know Riley does. I, don't. Uh, I do. Yeah. Where what what do you have? I have a shoulder tattoo. Which what is it? It says better, not bitter. That's good. It's, I remember. You never seen that? We talked about. That. I think yeah. I think I think I knew that. that's good. I can't yeah. really. You don't. You have can it. only see no, bitter. No, because I... I can't commit to anything forever. It's funny though because yeah. you seem like you'd be you should be tatted all over your yeah, body. Yeah, but no. I, I told you no, right, like somebody made a, a rumor that I had a Death Star tattoo by my vagina. Oh, mm. get it? Stay on target. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, uh, but it's not yeah. true. No. No. I think that good. you shouldn't get something if you can't commit to it forever. No. Yeah. yeah, I have one, and everybody afterwards was like, "Don't aren't you uh, having tattoo fever or whatever it is when you get like a million yeah. more?" No. Why would I just start getting more things on my body? That doesn't make any sense to me. But some people do, though. Some people just be like, oh, I got like a Nintendo controller. So yeah. I'm going to get something else. And yeah. That's, yeah. I have a girlfriend that's cool. who keeps getting yeah. stars all over her body. Yeah. Uh, like just cause, um, and they actually yeah. look pretty cool. But Milky also, way. why are you doing that? But here's the thing: like I, when we, I was in Disneyland this weekend, and I say I saw a dude that was like head to toe, like bald head, f- like everything was tattooed, and he had kids like, on his face skin. Face everything was covered. It almost looked like his face was on fire, like it was flames cool. going up. Right? Oh my god! Uh, kind of but he, he was like holding hands <laughs> yeah. with his two kids, and his wife was all tatted up, and the guy he was with was all tatted up. So it must be like a tattoo club or something. Like sort a of tattoo gang, family. Yeah, it's like a tattoo family. But as a child, if I woke up in the morning and my father was standing over me with this like crazy face. I would be kind of scared. No, you wouldn't, because it'd be your dad. Yeah. You get used to it. Yeah. You yeah. would just be like, my dad but was like a cool superhero first couple or times. something. You, you know, first we should get times. a group tattoo here. Mm-hmm. Let's go away really fast. Like what in a would year. it say? Calend- calendar. Oh, does it? Does Cal- it vanish? Calendar. Oh. Yeah, they, in like two years. Really? Does it really? A year and a yeah. half. Tom, yeah. Tom and Citizen both have their last names like on there, but like. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't be able to do that, but I dig it because it's like a jersey. Oh, yeah. Why like wouldn't that. you be able to do it? I guess I don't want anything on my body. Should we all get <laughs> oh, eight, eight and like nine? physically wouldn't be no, able no, no, to. No, no, I just don't want anything. Well, Why don't we f- all get eight and nine? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Or that's the show. <laughs> it's a lot of ink. That's under a there. lot, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm making guys, an appointment now, guys. Yeah, I don't know. i got to decide whether I'm going to take that with me or not. Yeah. The hashtag, that's the show. Oh, you thinking about it? I don't know. I mean, You're gonna we'll take some of our sound sound bites. Sound bites? I can't take sound bites. That's Cody's. Cody's. Yeah. The, mm. But um, I guess we'll say things. That's the show. That's this show. <laughs> yeah, we that's could, that. That's that, that show. show yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that show. show. That's that show. <laughs> this is that's this. Show. That's this show. <laughs> Whatever show you're watching, that's the it's show. It's not confusing at no, all. No, at all. Mm-hmm. At all. When I go off the chair. You know, when yeah. I saw Dagnino's first tattoo uh, on his back was when we stayed together at Comic Con. Oh, right. And he turned to me. I was like, who's Dagnino? <laughs> All right, because you had his first time. Yeah, yeah. I legit made thought his name was Bob friggin' Finster. For, well, forever. Forever. Yeah, I like, most people Bob. do. Do you think that he has a woman's name tattooed on him? No. No. No, mm-hmm. no fucking chance. That's, that's the best. His no mom's? Yeah, no. No. Well, he, yeah. you know, here's the no thing: chance. is I've been I've been in like one of those mad in love weekends, like on a vacation or something, right? You would have done it. Where a girl was like, "Would you get my tattoo?" I was like, "Ah, oh, sure." What's your name? Candice. Sure, but uh, candy. It says. Yeah, I got put candy on <laughs> there. And then when I get, I like candy. Nailed it. 
And then, I, but when I when I lived in Rome, I was going to get the SPQR, which is the the thing that Russell Crowe has on his arm. That's what like the Roman soldiers. Look, it's Russell Crowe. And then, yeah, like, <laughs> he's got the Russell Crowe tattoo. And I was in the chair because I was living in Rome, and it's uh, it's SPQR. It stands for the Senate for the People of Rome, Senatus Populus Quae Romanus, right? And every Roman soldier had that. I was like, my family's from Rome. My family lives here. Be a cool tattoo. And I sat down in the chair, and I had like forty bottles of red wine. I was like, just. Like, Put it on there. And my buddy's like, you sure you want to do this? I was like, nope. And I got up and I left. And that was the closest I there ever came to a tattoo. Yeah. Never did Question it. for you, Christian, just to see how well I know you. Yeah. In your head right now, are you like, we've been talking about tattoos for 15 minutes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. panic. <laughs> okay. Not at all. If you guys want to talk about tattoos, hashtag that's your show. You can do two tattoos for two hours once November uh, 1st hits. All right. So the, the video is up on Collider Live right now. Yeah. You can see the, all that kind of stuff. Tweet at us. Let us know what you think of the video. Also, yes, yes please. Uh, don't ever uh, think that I'm going to do this again unless no, I'm like five thousand to ten thousand dollars. You do it for less than that. Yeah, five hundred. Not yeah. scary farm a, next year. And a churro. No, not scary farm is scary. That's not going to happen. I've seen is pictures it, of that. I got to tell you, it looks. It, I, I've never been, scary. but it looks. Oh, yeah. it looks I went a couple years ago. It's a farm. I know. I, right? It's a farm. It's a really scary farm. Scary but yes, farm. I mean, have yeah. you never That's been? That's what I'm saying. No, you never been to theme park. Berry farm. But I've never been. It's like it has roller coasters. But it looks like a farm. Right? Yeah, well, it's a it's no, a I mean, jam it's in a theme park in a berry farm. I know the jam. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It, obviously, you're gonna have the theme park, but yeah. I mean, but it's in. I like that setting. It's so it looks farm. creepier. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, that's why I looked. I saw. It's pictures. like a pasture. They grow jam and and fruit and vegetables and shit. Word. Delicious jam. Yeah. No. You don't want to. You're not. Okay. It's really good. So now both of you guys have no written on your page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this should be the no show. No I mean, means hashtag no. no show. Again, th- listen, you guys saw what happens at Halloween Horror Nights. There you go. Congratulations. You see what happens at a horror. You don't need to see it again. It's the same I, thing. I don't, I, don't, I don't disagree with you. I think we You're a right. horror. Maybe next year. <laughs> You're a horror. We're all horror. You're a horror. <laughs> like, if you want to see me go get scared of other things, maybe we make a reality show called Josh is Scared of Everything, and we go around the world, and, I, and you Please, scare I me and other things. Don't do anything. Look down. Look down for a second. Look. There's nothing to be seen right now. I can. I'm. I'm str- there's, see, she does it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe she just leaves her She's legs for a second. Literally just sitting there. No shit. She also looks like. <laughs> she like also looks like an eight year old on the couch. That's my point. <laughs> she finally didn't move her. She's, my, this is bullshit. The whole thing. My feet Hashtag. Are, are you getting, foot show. Are you getting my, blamed? I'm like yeah. introverted right now. My feet are under my ass. <laughs> Wait, keep it there. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Did uh, you finish Cody, El Camino yet? Yeah. You know how much I watched last night. This is what this is. This is Go I'm ahead. glad you asked. Okay. Um, so last night, once again, th- now b- just because we and that have... review is up right now on the channel. Yes, Thad didn't free. like it. Barry and I loved it. Okay, who's Barry? Perry. Oh, Perry. Yeah. Um, Perry. Perry. Barry's Perry Pizza. Barry. You know Barry's Pizza. Barry's on Pizza. Is, on th- is it still there? Oh yeah. Yeah, drunk pizza, dude. Um, so last uh, once again, so the the, the baby's just uh, the two year old is just n- refusing to to go to sleep at a good time now, right? Mm-hmm. And yesterday she took a long her nap was went too long, so it was, it's it's. Like nine o'clock. So Terrible maybe, twos. Maybe get like an hour or an hour and a half of time. So I sit down for a second. The, the eight year old's still up, but I was like, okay, she's in the other room. So I, just, I turned El Camino from where I left off, and our our, our boy from uh, Friends, Mr. Pickles, whatever his name is. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Mr. P- Pickles? Mr. Heckles. Mr. Heckles. Mr. Heckles. <laughs> Pickles, Heckles. He's the right? Mr. Pickles. That's pretty good, though, too. I like yeah. Mr. Pickles. Like Mr. Picklesworth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but anyway, well. so it's that scene where he, uh, there's a scene where he shows up. And they and they walk up together and I go, all right, here we go. So I start watching. The eight year old goes, What you watching? She, uh, you can't no. watch this. So I was like, Why don't you go in and she's practicing for a play? She's she's your con. Oh, so yeah. practice. She's like, No, I'm done now. So she sits down to him. All right, great. So then she goes to sleep. And then my wife's with the You two can't just say no. At this point, it's, it's just it was too it was too hard. It was just too hard. But serious question, like as a parent, you yeah. can't just be like go back to sleep. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah, you I can. did, and okay. I did at that point. But she was she was you like, know, dad she, wants she felt, to watch this. Go she away. She felt alone. She asked me to come hang out with her for a little bit. So I was like, oh. whatever. So then uh, I then finally get some time. I sit down. Mm-hmm. I hit the play button. Ooh, I start watching it. How many minutes you got? You fell asleep. Thirty more seconds. And Sadie comes out. She goes, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> So she puts on fucking Dancing with the Stars. So oh, I went to sleep. No. Uh, Married life. Hey, yeah. do you know our buddy uh, Matt Iceman is now one of the hosts of uh, Live PD on A&E? 
Do you know that? I did he's not my know friend. That. I just, yeah, Matt's I just, the best. I just texted with him yesterday. Did you? Yeah, because he's gonna. I was gonna have him do a match at Spectacular. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. What happened? I was supposed to call a match with him, but then. No, you're supposed to present an award with him. Oh yeah. No, yeah, yeah, he does. He had because he, he guys one of the busiest motherfuckers yeah. in show business. Yeah. I fucking love him. He's great. I love yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's probably gonna. He probably be there for the. I, I want him to cover the draft. Yeah. He'd be great for the draft. Totally. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. I'll probably I'm have freaking now. out, Christian. Speaking of things you watch, people have been asking if you're gonna watch the thing before you leave. No, I'm gonna watch. I'm. I already said I'm gonna do a watch along on my channel. Okay. Yeah. Good, because um, you fucking better. I will. I'm gonna check it out for sure. Uh, and if you guys are available, we'd love to have you there. Um, I would love to. And be Roxy there. better watch the friggin' Matrix before we whatever. I know. Yes, you should definitely watch the Matrix. <laughs> I all right. No doubt about it. Uh, I look for a screen. Right, Cody, can we take a break? It's like I'm. What? I'm no. What? Why not? We'll take a break and I'm then come back, this. and then we'll do a full right hour. Right now. Then we'll do a full hour news when we get back. And, but then we'll have an hour. There still be ninety minutes. No, we have two breaks. It's okay, we got two breaks. We've been doing this show for how long? An hour hey. to 11.30. But we now. only have one today. Break one. All right, we're going to take a break. When we get back, we're going to talk about news, and then we'll uh, then we'll take another break. That's how it shit? works. No? Oh. Hey guys, it's Perry here to let you know that Movie Talk is moving. We've had a great time in this 3 p.m. Pacific slot, but guess what? We want you to start your day with Collider Movie Talk, so we're moving. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a longer show with some Bye. brand new segments. So tune in starting Monday, September Aliens 16th, 9 a.m. Pacific. Shit. See you there. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know hey we everyone, break down John the latest Roca, and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it, with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashotti hey everyone, on. We've hey had everyone, so many hey great guests. Now, Roca. if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Jesus, Thursday on Collider Jesus, Conversation. Jesus, Jesus, and I have Jesus, guests from Jesus. all across the space. John Roca, Gray Jesus, Drake, Jesus, Alexander Desplat came Jesus, on at one point. Jesus, we talk Jesus, everything from Jesus, movies, Jesus, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? Jesus. What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. No, no. Hi, I'm Corey Jondro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get wow. even more sweaty wow. on the podcast. Plus, wow. every week we're going to try wow. to get some very wow. special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Well, hello there. I'm Ken Napsok, one of the hosts of Collider Jedi Council. Oh, and I'd like to invite oh, you to listen to our show, watch our show. It's on every Thursdays on the Collider video channel. And it's also available in podcast form if you'd like to listen to our sweet voices on Collider Jedi Council. Me, Christian Harloff, and a bevy of guests, I say, talk Star Wars. We celebrate Star Wars. We dig into the Star Wars news. We speculate everything about Star Wars including your questions. Not right so now, not right now, not right now, Derek! Not right now, yeah. not right now, not right now, Derek! What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the blue brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Jesus, Podcast Jesus, One's Jesus, Jedi Jesus, Council Jesus. feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Leroy!
Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. New episodes drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer it's your questions illusion. from Twitter, from Fuck Instagram, yeah. and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. It's twist. movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Yeah, Main yeah, channel, yeah, that's right, right yeah. here. Subscribe to this channel. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Apple Podcasts, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars, episode nine's coming out. And then after episode nine, you got TV shows. So we're going to be you your sports it, you center for Star it, Wars. It. Do it. Come on, be real. Hi, I'm Amy Dallin, one of the hosts of Collider Heroes. And starting right now, you can catch our show Tuesday nights with a new Collider Heroes and a longer Collider Heroes podcast where Koi and I are going to talk your ears off. You already know that's coming. So make sure to go to YouTube, subscribe, and find us on the Collider Heroes podcast feed for all of that sweaty goodness. The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror-filled podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared. Hopefully you survive the Witching Hour. How is everybody? Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. Long break. Um, Enough, I guess. It's uh, it, it is Tuesday. It's Collider Live. We're gonna be talking about some uh, moving news and things that are going down. But before we do that, I was supposed to see um, Maleficent last night. Maleficent. Yeah, well, uh, part two, and I really wanted to see it, but I, I had uh, I just hadn't done any streaming, so I had to do one last night. But I I wanted to. It was gonna sit next to Rox. She was nice enough to save me a seat, but I couldn't make it. But you did see it. You liked the first one. Um, I did. Did I, you not? No, I didn't. I, I mean, and the reason why I actually was looking forward to this one for because I've accepted kind of what it was. So mm-hmm. I wanted what I wanted from the first one was they, they they lied in the pitch and what they said was that you're going to find out why this evil woman became evil and, right. and she never became evil. She wasn't. It evil. was She's, more so like why she, it was more so like telling her side of the story yeah, she got, that was different than what we know. Exactly. Right. It was just it was it was like an alternate version of her because she ultimately was, she was good. She got she got pissed off. She did a mean thing, but she was good. This right. version was good, and I was like, well, that's not what you. And then everybody was the king was bad and they just took a very different direction with right. it so I didn't like that but now that I know what that is in the continuation the trailers that I saw looked pretty good so Mich- Mich- Angelina Jolie and Michelle Pfeiffer together but, I mean it can't be bad right Roxy saw the movie well it certainly could be bad if you saw Death Becomes Her <gasps> it's not a good movie how dare Come you on, that's not a good what? movie you like that movie? Are you Death serious right now? Yes. That's sorry. one of the best all right, movies. Sorry. All right, well, it, it's not Zemeckis, great. Zemeckis man um, <laughs> I apologize <laughs> like Zemeckis has never done a bad movie uh, you saw the movie what did you think? Well, I thought it was really good. Okay. It's Yay. really solid. I think I liked it better than the first one, but I did like the first one. Right. I thought that uh, Angelina Jolie crushes it. She's so good. Lights it up. I, and honestly, she's not always my favorite. She was born to play this role. She's so, so excellent in it. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer does an amazing job as well. I she's, love Michelle Pfeiffer. She's awesome. Uh, I, I loved it. I loved it. I was kind of surprised. I did not think I was going to like this one as okay. much as the first one. It's really great looking. So just for the visuals alone, it's worth seeing. But then the story was very solid. Mm. Rock well, that's solid. what I was going to ask you. Like, Can you tell us a little bit, like without spoiling, at, at least what it's about? Uh, hmm. Not really. It, <laughs> it kind of is like what's next for Aurora okay. and... Maleficent. She's kind of no, taking... They showed like, a, what's, sure. They showed a scene. From D23. And what it, scene was the it? The scene was it was that she's taking care of her still, and then they go over to the, the castle, um, and M- Michelle Pfeiffer is basically goading Maleficent into getting into a fight, and she gets into, you know, she pisses her off, and she, she, Maleficent is is mad because it looks, Michelle Pfeiffer's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. That's what they make it look like. Yeah, so uh, that makes sense that they would show that yeah. scene. Okay. It's what's next for the princess, and how do we handle uh, all of the characters interacting? Who's good? Who's bad? How mm-hmm. does it play? Very predictable. Totally fine with that, though. It's a beautiful Disney movie. I can predict most of them. And uh, I I will say that people were crying. Like, it's very—it's moving. It's sweet. It's well crying? done. Crying? 
Uh, my friend Steph Sabra was weeping, but she relates well, to witchy she's woman. Also a witch. Yeah, she's yeah. totally a witch. Uh, so uh, yeah, I thought that it was really, really well done. Nothing, nothing insane happened. There was no part where I was like, "What? No way! Didn't see that." But super solid. Would you have reacted just like that had it, had that happened? Would you have yelled in the theater, "Wow! No way!" <laughs> That's what Roxy says at all. Of I don't ever <laughs> actually make s- words. I make noises, mm. Wah! Oh, like that. Yeah. Ah! But you like it. Really liked okay. it, Kristen. Couldn't picture you not liking it. Okay. Don't know if you'll love it because there was nothing insane in the memory. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I accept I accept now where it is, where it's come from. I, I, knowing I just didn't who like, she is, yeah, I just, knowing who Maleficent now, is, now you'll be like, oh, cool. I know it's a different movie now. Like I said, I just, uh, I, it was one of the best Disney villains of all time that mm-hmm. they just said, this is how she became evil. Don't don't say that. That's um, not what it is. Oh, Cody, I don't know if you can look this up, but Riley, the person who, oh, Angelina Jolie. No, 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 but who the is, person oh, who plays the prince. Ah. Uh, the person who plays the prince in it, I believe he like was prince a villain? different actor than in the first one. Yeah, that's what I heard on Movie Talk. And he was excellent. Uh, so endearing, really cute, charismatic, liked him a lot. Did so Maleficent yeah. chain him up like in the cartoon? Because that was sexy. No? It's no. not what takes it. place. I'm so it's sorry. Different, Spoiler. Yeah, she doesn't become a dragon. Mm. And if she does, she doesn't get stabbed in the heart with a sword. And she was walking around Disneyland on uh, Saturday, and my little niece started crying. Yeah. Angelina Jolie? No, N- Maleficent. N- Maleficent. Oh. <laughs> you said there was a lot of celebrities. There were. But <laughs> yeah. Angelina Jolie was not I, one of I think that this... I, I think just this, wish it was Angelina uh, Jolie. She's like, hello, children. I, I believe this movie will be a sweeping success. Oh, I don't disagree with yeah. that at all. It will definitely... Yeah. The people who liked the first one are for sure to like this one, and the people who didn't, I think this will get them on board. I've never seen the first, but uh, what? How much did the first one make? Do we a lot? A lot. Yeah. Yeah, can the, we see? But yeah, it, it crushed. The worst reactions I heard coming out were that was okay. Yeah. And that was That's that bad. was as bad as it got from anybody. Got it. So, Which is yeah. most of these reboot movies, right? It's like, oh, they're fun. This, yeah. This, it may it will cost. 180 just production budget and it made over 758 worldwide so it, it sure. made its money back then. Wow. Yeah, a lot of money. 241 domestic. That's I kind of think of, this yeah. one will do better than that. You're probably right. Sequels, if they're coming off a popular one, usually do most of the time. So I, th- I also don't know if you need to have seen the first one to be able to catch up with this one. As long as you are somebody who can kind of roll with the punches and you haven't seen the first one, I think you'll enjoy this story just for the story. So, so I don't you, need to have seen Malfeasant 1. I don't feel like you I don't feel Malfeasant. like you need to in order to enjoy it. You won't get everything, but you'll still enjoy it. Out of Roxy, out of the movies, the Disney kind of reboot movies that you've seen this year, which one's your favorite? Like how does this rank? Mm, well, better than Dumbo, yeah. for sure. This isn't even a reboot though. Uh, Aladdin was my favorite, and I would say this is tied with Lion King. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If that's what we're, if right. those are the ones you're yeah, talking yeah, yeah, about, yeah, I guess. But it's, it's, it they're, well, it's they're radically like different. The, li- yeah, the new live action yeah, world sure. that they're creating. Sure, yeah. But yeah. this is radically different because this is more. This is way more this original. This did feel because, right than Lion yeah. King, which is like right. an actual the just same just movie. Same movie. Yeah. Yeah. This did feel like it should be titled Aurora. Mm. It was definitely more Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a, a lot of her story. Cool. Was it darker than Joker? Uh, Which one was more disturbing? Did you wind up watching no. that uh, that short I told you about? No. Oh, you gotta see that. No, but there was actually some really dark moments in this where I was like, "Wow!" Because uh, what were you like? We're, wow, <laughs> we're we're murdering wow. some folks. Thanks. We're we're uh, axing some people, and there I was like, oh. "Okay." Well, Taking it back to the old Disney old times. It's yeah, a, it's yeah. a fantasy yeah. movie. Like, like if you watch Snow White and Pinocchio, they're super messed up. Easily I miss those movies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was this was dark, uh, well, but so cool visually. Well, there you go. So Maleficent <laughs> is is out. It's going to be out in theaters this weekend. So um, definitely check it out. So check it out. So, and I'm also uh, Zombie Land. I was supposed to see tonight. I don't know mm-hmm. if I'm going to make it. You going to go? I'm going to go to Jojo Rabbit instead. Of yeah, oh. it's gonna be hard Which for me to go. is great. You yeah. guys should all see it. It's um, amazing. Based off of, I saw Clark tweeted last night that it was her favorite movie in a long time. Mm-hmm. Jojo. Uh, yeah, yeah. I th- it's I top three for me it. for sure. Yeah. Uh, really? I, I know yeah. that really some people that work on this show love it as well. Okay. Uh, so, awesome. well, do we Alex? want? Let's get. <laughs> yeah. Let's get. Uh, what, you know, they just brought up. There is the Halloween harness. We didn't get the show. Let's show a little bit of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll watch. You know. Can you actually put the the clown part on? Because that's that's the part I want to see at the end there. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, 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 I get a chance to see it. It's right towards the end. Uh, right this, there. That's there, it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So this this is the part I didn't get to see, but this is the clown where we sent Wendy and Josh oh, no, in together. You want to watch the girl cry right now? It's not the it's girl cry. I want to watch. You I want to watch. No, I want to watch Makuga like lead her through. So you are here go. Sweating your dick off. Oh, nice. Here you go. Turn that up. Wendy, what are you scared of most? 
Josh Makuga. No, what are you scared of? Okay, spiders and clowns. Clowns. So Killer Clowns is here. Wendy refused to do Killer Clowns maze. No, 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 Who no, thinks no. Wendy should go to the clowns? <laughs> I uh, raised my hand. Julie's the only like decent right. human doesn't yeah. raise her hand. I know. She told me she's like, Why are you making them do this? Because it's a show. <laughs> <laughs> These are, those things are fucking creepy, though. I'll tell you. That. No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I really don't like clowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't have the clip. No, Wendy. Wendy. They didn't have the clip. The Wendy. Look, nice dance, Riley. Right, Thank so you. We did it. Wendy faced her fears. Josh faced her fears. Her <laughs> fears. She really died of laughter. We had a really, really good time here. Thank you so much. Do you sing the song? Universal for inviting us. Yes. Have a great yes. time. And man, this is a fun time. If you were able to do it, come and enjoy a lot of these yeah, new And I think it's pretty apt for what we say. Collider Live. The, the best, best show on the YouTube. Katie's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. She did for Josh McCuga. Yeah, she did the McCuga at the end. Anyway, I want to so, watch more. Well, the whole thing is up there, guys. So make sure you check that out. Frank really did a great job. There's when? Only, only 4,000 of you humps have watched it so far. Let's get, let's get it to uh, 30, humps, 40, 50. My humps. Your phone's about to fall out your pocket. Thank you so much. Yeah, dog. Pickpocket. No doubt. Um, I'm going to smell good today. Mm. I've, I have, so I have had poison oak basically on my leg. So I have, I have a very, very, very sensitive like skin. skin. To poison ivy, poison Eggs oak, point, poison sumac, sometime, yeah. but not not like that. But like, if it's a poison plant, right? Like, so like one to in the seventh grade, I had to go to the hospital for two and a half days because of poison ivy. In uh, when I was working construction, we cleared land one day, and I uh, had a lung infection from breathing in the smoke of Ugh. of poison ivy. I've had it all over my body. I've swelled up like triple times my size. I've had to take steroids, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I was playing golf two weeks ago, or th even three weeks ago now, and apparently I like brushed up against a bush that was poison oak. So my legs kind of look like somebody just like took a knife and scarred me Oof. across all my legs. So I've been going, I, I went to a doctor, got a steroid, it really didn't work. I uh, have tried like every, I've gone on Amazon and bought like every kind of cream. Finally, my dad said, listen, I have this. He has a, a guy, he like invests in this company and it's called Raw. And Raw is like- Raw, in, like Raw? Raw, like raw, raw eggs. Yeah, like Raw eggs, right? And it's raw ice and raw heat, and and you use it. It's like a like a Ben Gay kind of a thing. Oh, it's that's really what you good said. for Excuse muscles. Excuse me if yeah. I smell like ice. Sorry if I smell like Ben Gay because I. My dad said it works on poison oak. It's crazy. Mm. So I got my dad yeah, sent it to me sense. two days ago, and I put it on my legs, and all of a sudden it's working. Like it's starting to go away. It's crazy. Right. This this is normally for like muscle aches and pains. Like the penguins use it and whatever. Not the actual penguins, the Pittsburgh penguins, and. It is working, but I have to put it on my body, and it just smells like Bengay. So I'm sorry if that's what I smell like. I, I, guess. I don't smell I don't it. Smell I have a pretty it. good yeah. sense of smell. I don't I can't smell, smell it, but mm -hmm. I do okay. smell me. Oh, uh, do you smell uh, bad? I think so, maybe. Oh. Darina, tell us. Did yeah. you smell or what? <laughs> Pretty good. Is, that is, true? It, yeah. is it weird that I find like so sometimes when Amanda has like a little bit of BO, I find it like a little bit of a turn on? Is that I think weird? that that's like the part of your guys' connection. They yeah. say that that there's a fair amount of shame. It yeah. probably yeah. Bring, yeah, brings up memories. Yeah. Because when you guys are sweating it up, um, <laughs> just don't good do it for all. you. <laughs> Stop that. Time. Sweat up that fin that Ben Gay together. It brings back. I bought I bought a Grammy this cannabis product for her <coughs> knees, but it smells like Ben Gay, and so uh, she's oh. refusing to yeah. put it on. Oh, I put cannabis oil on my knees like, all the time. It's great. That's like cologne for old people. I, I to told like her, that. I'm like, dude, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. looking at you like, why does she smell? You're, you're 92. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go, people would like, expect you to smell worse or, yeah. than what yeah. that probably smells like. Yeah, she's um, very vain. All right, let's get back to some of these topics here. She so, is. Riley, uh, before we get to the main, let, let's, anything else break that we need to talk about? Uh, no, it's all on here. We've had, we had a little bit of breaking news with uh, Venom 2 is reportedly adding the Marvel villain Shriek to the storyline, which Shriek is, uh, What's that? as I learned from Movie Talk Today from Koi, uh, it's the... Counterpart to Carnage, oh. somebody that uh, in, in, helps Carnage with uh, whatever they but do. I don't know. Just basically, I don't know. But why not just stick in? Because they set up. Car they, they sold us that we we're going to have Carnage in the movies in a post-credit scene with Woody Harrelson. Why not just keep, give us Carnage and that's it? Yeah, why I don't know. know. What, I mean, because most of these studios usually add like the extra 30, villain 40 for villains. some reason. Why? Oh, it's a female. Oh. Okay. Marvel so it's, villain it's, Shriek. Uh, let me see. One, I the, like her first face. popping up in yeah. Spider-Man Unlimited like number one. Uh, Francis Lewis Barrison is a drug deal and occasional serial killer with the mutant ability to manipulate sound. The character is frequently shown as a romantic partner and crime colleague to Cassidy, 
and or Carnage. Carnage. Oh, so Carnage oh, has so a girlfriend. His girlfriend. Okay. All right. Well, that might be that might be and, a Mickey Mallory situation. So maybe and they're works. gonna yeah Mickey Mallory. Well done. No, I like. Oh, that. what if they get Juliette Lewis as Shriek? I mean, Woody that, Harrelson. That, she could play that. Would that would be great. I just saw Wait, them do the Q and A together. Totally, yeah. and Sorry, can great. I Pretty move cool. us to a different topic? Because I'm seeing Honey Boo Boo here, and I'm so curious. What is? Do you guys? No, don't click on that because you go through like nine slides. Honey Boo Boo is so skinny honey... now and looks like a model. We can't stop staring. You don't want to see that. Not in the middle of movie news. We're, we're, we're yeah. talking about we're TV. Talking about you just got click baited. It's also probably porn or something when you click on it. Yeah, and it's also never going to show you Honey Boo Boo. It's like nine different celebrities that were fat and now we're skinny. Come on. Again, write it down, and then in <laughs> two or three weeks, go fucking bananas. Watch, do the Honey Boo Boo breakdown hour for <laughs> yeah. Honey Boo Boo thirty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> have a blast. I gotta see. No, her. we won't. So, uh, <laughs> so if because Juliette Lewis looks kind of like that shriek that we just saw, right? Uh, wait, according to casting under Let shriek. It, was, I, it well, would be it would be amazing if they got Juliet Lewis. Why? Incredible. How old do you think she's going to be? Well, it doesn't she, matter. Julia, I mean, Woody Harrelson is old, so uh, you would think his romantic interest would be a Juliet Lewis type, and she can so. play a villain real oh, freaking no, well. Shit. She's great. She's great, Fantastic. and that would be a, what a great reunion that would be if they yeah. got. Oh them. my god! Be, 20, what was the last 25 movie, years later. What's yeah. the last movie we saw her in? What, she played. Like, I mean, I mean, she's been in a lot of different things that you probably didn't even know about, but she's been she, she's been singing TV too. Show, she's probably, a she's a musician. Yeah, she was in the act. Yeah. Uh, Patricia. That's what Patricia. it was. That what it was? Yeah. Very okay. talented. Okay, she's very good. She's always been good. One of the, I mean, shit, man. First time I ever saw was Cape Fear, but like uh, she was in Ma. I didn't see it. Yeah, Ma, Million Little Pieces, Back oh, yeah, Nerve, right, Gem and the Holograms, mm. Gem and the Holograms. Good lord, <laughs> Kelly and Cal. That was awful. <laughs> What's Kelly and Cal? I don't know. Mm. Uh, Helly in uh, August Osage County. That's right. She was oh, in that yeah. open road, but she's in a lot of movies still. Um, uh, no, I'm just I'm yeah, thinking yeah. to myself like, what did I just see her in that she was great and it was the act. Maybe she was in yeah. due dates. Maybe she'll be in Todd Phillips next movie. Yeah, could be. Well, she was in um, obviously in old school as well. Remember, she that's, played she, she played Luke Wilson's girlfriend. Remember, she's like, I'm here for the gangbang. Oh Talk. my god, that's <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. Remember, yeah. she's there for the gangbang yeah. question. Yeah. I never forget. I remember now. Yeah. Uh, cheese. My brother and his buddies used to do that to me in college cheese? because, yeah, because I was the president of the fraternity, so I had to like enforce the rules sometimes. And I'd walk in and they'd be like, cheese, because they'd be, good. you know, and making well, fun of yeah, me. Yeah, well, we did one. Our first engineer on Schmooze was Jonathan Sh- Scheiser. Yes. And cheese. so we got, yeah, we got the we got the sound clip. So every time we'd be like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcoming to the show. And we play cheese. He goes, well, my name is Jonathan Scheiser. So We're in the middle of movie news, guys. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Old school Rusty is old bird. school is a movie, and, your friend and it came through. But wait, that's it. But that's no, I'm not. Cheese. I'm not going to get into an argument today. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the mood to get into a super. I can save all of this right now with this news article. That just something just dropped. Holy shit! What was it? Oh my god! What? HBO Max orders Rydell High, a musical series inspired by Greece. Whoa. You like That's this? You guys know, awesome. you guys, no, I do oh. not. <laughs> oh, it's awful. You, you, Please stop. You yeah, shut the, Wait, your front HBO? mouth. Yeah, HBO should, Max, yeah, by, by, by my kooks. Okay. My turn. What? Yeah. Christian. <laughs> Pick me, please. What, what, go ahead, Rob. No, I'm like obsessed it. with Greece. Okay. I love the fact that we were doing this prequel movie that nobody else liked. Yeah, All that's bunch of also fake ass Greece fans. I'll take whatever Greece I can get. I will Ooh, that was rock creepy. to a ride. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'll take whatever grease I can I get. I will rock oh, out yeah. to a Rydell High TV show 10 out of 10 days a week. This is for me. If it's not for you, go yuck somebody else's yum, you mofos. Yeah. This is oh, why yeah. I don't subscribe to HBO Max. So I, I, think, I think that Grease, the reason why it was so great, the original, because the second one was shit. Uh, hey! Uh, Grease 2 is bad, but in a fun it's, way. But it's Grease Pfeiffer. Fine, but it's still, yeah, but it's still shit. But it's, but it's still, fine, but it's, it's still shit. It's a musical yeah. series, but, Christian. But the reason why the first one works so well is because of the chemistry of the cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you can get a great... And the music is well, yeah, fantastic. Well, absolutely. But, if you, but you need the right cast to pull off that right, music. Right. And if you do that for this, it's it's got a possibility. It's also a well, different yeah. time. You know what they're competing with is the, the Disney just released yeah, the, the new the high, high, school, high school, school musical. Christian, Christian, look, it's the one that you want. They're already making puns. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not a bad. It's actually not a bad poster. Yeah. It's, it's the time. It's the place. It's the ocean. We got it. I'm what? gonna watch it. They, they heard my. Price. I love musicals, so I'm gonna watch right it. High. Yeah. All right. It could be good. I'll uh, watch it with you, Roxy. <laughs> this is like Glee meets. Let him go. Let him go. Well, you don't want to talk about it. Anymore? Go ahead. It sounds great. Yeah. Go. Why like, aren't you gonna? You, you just don't. Do you like musicals? Uh, I do. 
Yeah, I, I, I guess I, I do. I'm not, it could I'm not, be good. I'm not poo pooing it. The okay. same way that I'm not doing it for uh, for West Side Story. I think right. that West Side Story, both mm-hmm. of them. Are. Mm-hmm. I want to see. I give mm-hmm. Spielberg the benefit of the doubt, and yeah. I get. And depending on who the creators of this show are, I right. I don't have high hopes for it because I think that they try to do. It. They did it on TV and NBC. The live one was terrible. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. If actually, they, it wasn't that bad. The great. They had uh, what's her name? Julianne Huff is very talented, yeah, and then Aaron fine. Tivet is an amazing singer. But it doesn't catch the magic. I thought it was it, no, it, of course. But for I mean. for the live musicals that they put on, it's yeah. one of the best ones I've seen. Okay, fine. But I but I mean, it does. It doesn't. That first movie captured the magic, yes. and it did like, and that's what you want to do if you're going to do a series but again if hbo is doing it and if they have a they're the teaming right up with cast, paramount i guess yeah that makes so. sense they probably own it wait scroll down because i want to see this is high school and life in small town usa told on the scale of a big rock and roll musical it's grease 2.0 but with the same spirit energy and excitement you immediately think of when you hear any of these iconic songs Okay, so but they need they need new iconic songs if you're gonna get. Right. A, I mean, first <laughs> of all, I'll never watch do. this. But if like, and if, all those people that came with those songs are dead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want his family dead. What are you trying to be me today, or what's yeah, happening? Guys, we're still in the fifties. Oh, all right. It's a world that rocks with big musical numbers. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. The horrors of puberty. We all know about that. Oh God. Okay. It is gonna depend a lot on how good the songs it's are. It's called puberty. Hey, puberty. Puberty. <laughs> That's it. I got hair on my balls. balls. It's the balls of my hair. <laughs> got hair on my balls. Had there a wet dream. Had a wet dream. Wet dream. But you do. Puberty. But where's the, the girl part? I'm singing it. Come. No, but have balls on my hair. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> well, well sorry, Roxy, I didn't go through girl puberty. That would work too. Though. All right, here we go. Need Roxy in three, two, Need one, take it. I'm bleeding out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had it. You had it. You, it was gonna be there. Don't tempt me, Cody. What Don't is that? <laughs> uh, All right, we're gonna take a break. Oh, okay, yeah. uh, when we come it's back, hockey mushrooms. Bleeding. Anything else? <laughs> yes. So, Come on. So they should hire you to on. write the song. If I'm not allowed you did this, to Riley. If I'm not allowed <laughs> to talk <laughs> about you honey boo boo, then I'm certainly allowed right. to talk about grease. All right, let's switch it to something. Christian, this is something you can Oh, talk. I can't wait. It's the blood that I want. They blood cast blood 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 Scarlet blood 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 in the blood blood Snake Eyes movie. Oh, and who's that? Uh, I'm pulling it up right now. It's the girl that was just in... Oh, what was that movie? Oh, so Samara Weaving. Samara Weaving. Oh, Henry Golden. Yeah, thank you. She's great. Henry Golding in oh. uh, Snake Eyes, uh, uh, Crazy Rich Asians, Sh- Henry Golding is playing Snake Eyes, and Samara Weaving is going to play uh, Scarlet, and it's going to be more of what they're describing as a more gritty kind of take it's on the G.I. Yeah. Joe. Uh, Base it off the Marvel she, comics, man. Yeah. Like, when, the Marvel comics, when those, they, if you go back from like issues like one to like 60, those were like when the G.I. Joe comics were great and there's so many interesting stories that they can tell i wonder what they're going to do though with the storyline with between snake eyes and storm shadow because they were v- they were in vietnam together maybe just right. move it to the middle east or something or this is absolute no, bullshit though be. because if well. you're going to do scarlet you have to have a ginger in the role and I-, I refuse to watch anything that isn't the person of that role so <laughs> she, she, uh, red, yeah. she reminds wig. me of an everyday margot robbie that's what this yeah. Yeah. yeah she's so, yeah. so, she's so i have watch a crush on her smilf She's great yeah. in smell. Oh, no, oh, and sure. Babysitter. If you guys haven't seen Babysitter, yeah. that's a good one. Babysitter. Mm-hmm. But I, I like the, I, the thing that I actually, that pulls, uh, that I pull the most out of the story is the gritty take on it because the last two weren't great. Um, I and, like the first one. There's, there was, the second half was all right. Yeah. The, I'm just not a big Stephen Sommers guy. Uh, but I think he's directed it. Oh, yeah. How so, come? I was like, is that yeah, a man? mummy, and it's, he's, he's and what did he do? Van Helsing, I think. That, and Van Helsing that's might be one, one of the, worst of the movies. bad movies that I actually like watching bad movies for fun. I could not finish Van Helsing. I walked out. I is couldn't that finish it. Out of the really? Hugh with yeah. Hugh Jackman and uh, what's her yeah, name uh, that Kate I love? Beckinsale. Yeah. Did Alice yeah. stay? It was this was before Ellis. I went oh. with Winkleman. You know what? I'm gonna take that back. I didn't walk out. I wanted to, and Winkleman made me stay. Here's the thing, That's bastard. What That's as, what a, as a callback to Roxy Van Helsing and Kate Beckinsale's character launched the Underworld franchise from Van Helsing, Nuh-uh. which is a franchise. Know, oh. oh, I think that might be true. Then. <laughs> which is a franchise that I know all about. Tons. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if I. I think you're wrong, but I. 
I would think it I be, might be right. Let's bring up Van Helsing. That shit. I feel box like you just made something up that could be true. I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm the host of Rumor. But, but she, was, but she looked Clark like a pirate in oh. Van Helsing. Like her costume. Yeah, I don't was think all. she was a wear, uh, no. vampire. Josh, that wouldn't be a rumor because it already happened. <laughs> the true. only thing <laughs> I remember from that movie no, that was good Cody. was the um, Van did Helsing. You, do you remember the flying <laughs> cow in Van Helsing? That was my favorite. Can part. we bring in the IMDb to see who Underworld should came out before Van Helsing? Oh, it did. Is that true? That's what we were trying to pull. Oh, I see. I see. Is Alex here? Yes, Alex yeah. is here. Buddy. Alex! 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 Nice, Alex. Hey, buddy. Um, okay, well... I'm telling you guys, I smell stale. <laughs> well, it's a way to really get it going here, Roxy. If you put that on the side Puberty. of a website and say, Roxy now smells stale, I was like, oh, I'm going to kick on that. Let's see what's yeah. going to go on. It's next to Honey Boo Boo's weight loss. It's Roxy stale, Honey Boo Boo skinny. Bad, but, but anyway, so this stale. girl's going to be playing Scarlet. Maybe it's All right, a shirt. what's next? And who, wait, who's the dude? The guy from uh, Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. yeah, Henry Golding. He's playing Snake Eyes. Which is different. It's different. You talk about the casting wise. I mean, you never saw Snake Eyes' face, but in the comics, he was, well, it was it was very similar. You ever see Kickboxer with, uh, yes. or yes. even Bloodsport? Yeah. Blood yes. What's Kickboxer? It's a Junk Van Damme. Again, no. It's like a classic Van Damme movie. But, but, so, but, but I'll go to Bloodsport. The character Frank Dukes was trained. Um, he was, you know, he's a white guy. Yeah. was trained by uh, uh, one of the best martial artists, and, and his son was kind of pissed off about it. Yeah. So that was kind of the story with um, Snake Eyes. Mm-hmm. He was, he was just, he was a white dude that saved um, Snake Eyes. Excuse me, Storm Shadow's life in so the war. So he is white in the, in the comics, comics, even yeah. though you don't see his face. Yeah, because well, because his face got fucked up in the war, like oh. badly, and it's why he can't talk and stuff too. But him and, and Storm Shadow were buddies in the war. Uh, what war? Vietnam. Oh. I wonder yeah. if it'll be like Dread, where he just doesn't take off. The, you can't see his face the whole movie. If you cast this guy, you got it. Yeah, he's too big. Well, but I mean, Carl, Carl Urban played Dread, and you true, but that was but how bottom. much how much credit he got um, because. There are tons of actors that won't do that, and mm-hmm. Carl Urban got a lot of credit for not taking off right. the mask because you never saw his face. But that was the point. Dread never took it off, took off the mask, right. and that has been my biggest question all along with Mandalorian: Will Pablo Pascal take off the Pedro. mask? Pedro, probably. What did yeah. I say? Yeah, Pablo. Uh, Pablo. Pedro. Pe- Pedro. Well, Pe- Pablo. Pedro. Pedro Pascal. Wait, who said Pablo? You said I, Pablo. That's my yes, bad. It's Pedro Pascal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Threw me off. It's my um, bad. It's my yes, bad. It's okay. But he, uh, <laughs> but Pedro Pascal, uh, you will see his face eventually because Mandalorian, you don't. Ha- it doesn't have to stay right. hidden because Jango Fett took it off in Attack of the Clones. He did, and and we never saw Boba Fett, Boba Fett's face until way after the like the, the, the Christmas special, right? No, no, never saw his face there. But yeah. until until it was revealed that he was Jango Fett's uh, got clone. It, got it, got it, got it, got uh, it. Anyway, so um, that movie, whenever that comes out, I'll be interested to see it. I hope that they, I hope they nail it. But it just, yeah, it's still, it just, it still makes me, I don't know, because Lorenzo Di Ventura, as nice of a guy as, as he is, um, I just don't think he's gotten it right with Transformers mm-hmm. and with us too. Right, and the yeah. director of R.I.P.D. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't, 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 doesn't bode well. I, I think, uh, but after that kind oh. of uh, R.I.P.D., you yeah. know. Failing as it as it were, he can maybe come in and really he's, he's like, try to do something he's got, special. This is his hopefully. last chance because like, this yeah, thing stinks too. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's where I'm too. going. Yeah. yeah, I like that Ryan Reynolds like constantly on social media is kind of saying like you know they had this Hugh Jackman feud is funny, but he's always crushing Green Lantern and he never even mentions R.I.P.D. because that movie was atrocious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> have we? Seen. Have we? Was it in the story? Do we have the? Yeah, we do. The Ryan. Yeah, yeah. That's where I was going next. the next. Yeah. So Ryan Reynolds, speaking of, was at Marvel. Took a picture in front of Marvel Studios, letting everybody know that he's there. And then in his trademark, you know, kind of wise ass, said he auditioned for Anthony Stark. <laughs> didn't come even remotely close. And then the na- nice man with the taser escorted me to the ground. <laughs> it's funny. So, uh, I wonder if he Deadpool? was meeting with Marvel Studios. He's talking Of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, well, they, you know, they, they, they have it, they own it now, and, and they got to figure it out. It's a popular, the, t- the mo- two movies. Crushed and how much money that they both made and and it's one of those things you take you, you have the meeting and it's like all right watch I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have some fun with this yeah. and they, they post it right in front of Marvel they know everybody's gonna be talking about it uh, yeah it's just a matter of how they're gonna do it the big question is does Marvel keep it rated R I I mean I think you have to they should have. I think they should they but should. do they we'll see I mean I I think that you're gonna lose some of the adult the, humor with PG-13 I just don't think it's gonna work. I don't disagree with you it's at like all. Deadpool is a put that's the character I agree 100%. did you see um uh, nudity in the first one like was she naked yeah uh, in that? oh somebody was he, Marina we, back didn't yeah. we see was his butt because she was really naked in Homeland remember she got yeah. really naked in like the first season of that yeah. show and then I but I'm thinking of like R rated right so it was just for violence and and, and, and language and language. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. every 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 right. other word but, I'm just trying to think of like super, and it's I think the violence some backsides some backsides some butt stuff yeah but it's the violence though 
but maybe not. But maybe even if he did, it, it's, that's that's not going to be the rated R as much as the 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 violence and the curse because the violence is super bloody, yeah. and that's kind of what makes Deadpool what yeah. it is. It's dark. It's crazy. So do you think they're going to keep it R, or do you think they'll go PG thirteen so they can attach it to the MCU? I think that they actually are going to keep it R, but I've gone back and forth on this fifteen thousand times. Yeah. I we don't know. We don't know, obviously, but I I don't think it. I think when he makes appearances elsewhere, they will have those movies be PG thirteen, and when he does stand, I agree with that. They'll go R. I was going to say, if they try and make it not R, do you think Ryan Reynolds walks away? No, no, he can't because he's contractually obligated. He at also point. is just such a super fan of the franchise. He would make it work. He would find a way, yeah. and I think that he's the best. Like I, I know that seems like a such a bland statement, but based off of his social, based off of his willingness to play along, uh, he just seems like such. A team player. And making fun of himself for yeah. like other movies and yeah. being honest about that. I can't yeah. picture him throwing an ultimatum out there like that. No. What do you think, Riley? Uh, I I think that they he, Bob Iger said it was going to be rated R. That oh, they he were did. Gonna, yeah, he was saying that they're going to most likely keep it the way it is. Great. We talked about it on Movie Talk a lot this morning. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. How do you work in the mutants though? If they're not going to do the mutants. Right now, when are they going to do it? Because Deadpool obviously has all the mutants. So right. I'm wondering if they could do a Deadpool 3. Don't even acknowledge the MCU. Just do a straight sequel to Deadpool 2 with Colossus and the mutants and Zazzy beats his domino. And then we see what happens. They can maybe then do a little backdoor MCU action as a post credit scene to kind of introduce the world to the MCU. He breaks the fourth wall. He could do whatever the fuck That's he true. wants. Well, but if you also, I mean, the thing is, even if this movie starts shooting next year, we're not looking at at least 2021, 2022 before it comes out. It gives you enough time to, if you want to start trying to plan out how you connect the X-Men into the MCU. So it's just exciting that, you know, we, we know we're getting it. Did you guys yeah. watch The Good Place? Have you ever watched The yeah, Good it's Place? it's great. I, I think that they could do, if they had to make his character PG-13 when incorporating him into other movies, they can do things like that, especially with the language. The violence is a little more difficult, but with the language, like... Change it up. Yeah, yeah. where he or like has Battle to, Star like, they yell at him. He has to start yeah. saying forks and things like that. Well, he could also try to say the F word, and it could be beeped out, mm-hmm. like literally beeped out, and he could go, ah! Beep! That I'm in the beep Disney movie. Or like, beep! Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Or he that's gets funny. like tasered every time he cusses or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has to put something yeah. in the swear jar. But that it could... will be funny for a minute. So yeah, yeah. yeah. that's we what I mean. Watch the it for just... a minute. So maybe for the movies that he comes in in the MCU yes. world for, yes. as like a cameo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, Perfect. That, yeah. that would be funny. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you do you want to see him in the MCU movies as like a cameo, or do you want him as like a major storyline in these? Because it's a major storyline. It kind of takes away. I don't know if he works as a major storyline in. MCU movies, or in with yet. the Avengers, yeah. I just don't I like to see him show up. There's a great, yeah, exactly. there's a great run with him and Spider Man that I think would be mm-hmm. fun. And but there, the MCU one more movie, one team up movie with uh, Tom Holland. Well, Spider-Man. maybe that's what the conversations are because it's so f- they're s- they're so close to each other of you know the, the fact that they figured out this Tom Holland thing and now they're talking to Ryan Reynolds and he's got one extra movie. People were were. Thinking that maybe that's what the extra movie is. It's it's Deadpool and Spider Man. That, Deadpool that could, and Spider Man movie together would be pretty cool. That, yeah, would, that would be my be, That would be amazing. Yeah. Don't you guys think he'd be so ridiculous with Black Panther? <laughs> be like, yeah. That'd be what? pretty crazy too. What? Just <laughs> Deadpool in Wakanda. Yeah. <laughs> but be so weird. When does that movie come get him at all? That's a great Black idea. Panther <laughs> too. Is that twenty twenty two? Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Have they dated it yet? Uh, I know. Yeah, they did. They dated it in D twenty three. Twenty twenty two. Basically, right yeah. yeah, like to think about the most serious yeah, MCU characters and Dr. T'Challa Strange. is yeah. one of them. Well, shit, man. If, if Black Panther 2 is coming out May 6, 2022, you're not going to see Deadpool 3 until After either, that. either the same year or, or even 2023. That's a long time away, man, for Black Panther 2? Well, they announced it at D23. Like, Ryan Coogler, I, I actually hated that tease. I thought it was, uh, the, the way that they set that up, I thought it was really lame. Feige came out with Ryan Coogler, and he's like, all right, so you're gonna, what are you going to give him? Is he going to tell him what some of the characters are? And he's like, no, nah, I can't tell you that. He's like, all right, so what about the script? Feige's saying this. What about the script? You know? He's like, nah, I can't tell him that. He's like, well, how about this? And he's teasing all these things that people would want. He's like, he's like well, how about a release date? And he's like, yeah, I can tell you that. It's uh, 2022 or whatever, May 6th. And then he's Boom. like, isn't that great? And it's like, come on, that's what you gave 2022? Yeah, it's like, for Black it's Panther was the biggest thing last year. The biggest freaking yeah, Marvel movie. Three years. Three years? Same thing years? Got even nominated for an Oscar. Right. 
But they didn't come out. They, but, but Aquaman didn't come out and put out this whole big oh, show. Oh no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about date wise. Right. Yeah, a lot Aquaman. of these standalones are getting Lewis three, Aquaman. four years after now. Yeah. Well, I guess that sort of makes sense because you, you don't want to rush a script. You don't want to rush production. Yada yada yeah. yada. You yeah. got a lot of things to take into consideration. Right. I just thought the, the tease was lame at the yeah. at the event. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, right, Riley? When yeah, does, except the big news yeah, that big we'll get to. Say. Also, yeah. really quick, when does Blade come out? That's not yeah. 2025 20, That's what I want. Shit. That's my yeah. Was it dated? No. I don't it think hasn't so. Been dated yet. Would Deadpool be in phase. Blade? No. Dead Blade. Well, right. Red is already in Blade Three. Right. Trinity, mm-hmm. which is uh, what is it's a Marvel said. property. They could put Deadpool in wherever he wants. My favorite line, which you could in that movie in Blade Three, you can tell was improv. Was when Parker Posey is torturing him. And he's sitting oh, there. And he goes. So good. He goes. First of all, your hairdo is ridiculous. <laughs> and she goes. Like this, and she she has a smile on her face because like she was not expecting it. And they kept it in there. It was really good. I want to see good. her in all the Marvel movies. Yeah. She's great. First of all, your hairdo is ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> let's get to the main topic. The main topic today yep. is Zoe Kravitz, the one of the sexiest actresses on the planet, is has been cast as Catwoman Yay. in the Matt Woo-hoo. Reeves. Now, Meow. first of all, uh, just to let everybody know, and, and I think Jay Washington deserves the credit on this, uh, what a year Lisa Bonet is having. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or last last year, the, the Warner Brothers money is coming into that household. Uh, Hardcore. Only, very much so, because now she not only is her husband Aquaman, um, now her, man. her daughter is Catwoman, and Zoe Kravitz is playing Catwoman, and I love this choice because I think that Catwoman needs to be sassy, sexy, tough, and I think that Zoe Kravitz has proved in all of her roles that she is that, uh, and to see her kind of bounce back and forth with Pattinson, this is this is pretty cool casting. Sometimes the most obvious choice is the right one. Yeah, it was yeah. so obvious. Yeah. I mean, why why not? There's not one thing about her that wouldn't make her perfect for this. Uh, I've watched her movies. I've watched her on television. She's a ridiculously talented actress. Not to mention, like you said. She's absolutely stunning. She looks like she could be Catwoman right. in yeah. every part of the way. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing about the casting that's like huh, I don't, yeah. or... And I don't want to hear anything like, oh, Catwoman's black. Well, first of all, so was Halle Berry. Yeah. And second of all, so and, was the, and in the 60s. We yeah, had, uh, uh, what's her Julie name? Newmar. No, no. she's... Uh, she God, what's her uh, name? Help me out. Kit. Uh, Earth, Who? Eartha yeah. Kit. Eartha Kit. Eartha Kit. Yeah. So we've 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 been here before. It's worked out. I mean, well, maybe not with Halle Berry. Uh, <laughs> Halle, but Halle, Halle, Halle Berry, Berry. And I said this though. Halle Berry yeah. didn't suffer from being a bad actress. It was the movie was atrocious. Yeah, the writing was movie. atrocious, yeah. uh, and the way that they marketed it was awful. Mm-hmm. I think that she is going to be a great Catwoman. How do you feel about this? Okay, so Zoe Kravitz. In the last season of Big uh, Little Lies, was horrendous. Like she, they, they just really? wasted her character. Oh, yeah. but not, right but not, her, not her performance. Not her. Not yeah. her. They, the writers and the pro- directors, and I mean this again. This is my opinion. I think they just wasted Zoe Kravitz's character because in season one she was the best character in the show. Yeah. She spends a lot of uh, mopey time. Yeah. yeah, a lot of mopey time. The entire season is her moping. I thought she did a great job with it, but I know what you're talking do you know about. What I'm saying? But you think they didn't give her enough to do it? So. Right. Okay. They, they gave her n- nowhere near enough. It's to like do. every note was just be sad. Just but she did show that from comparison to season one, that showed emotional range because we didn't see that season sure. one. Sure, but in season one, she was Catwoman. Yeah, and there were some but sudden I mean, decisions that were made in that show with her character. It's like, well, where did that come yeah, from? Yeah, uh, totally. I didn't understand half of it. Uh, but Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman makes all the sense in the world. She, I want her see her as a badass in everything she does. So, g- like, give me this all day. Like, they're they're making the right. Decisions Warner Brothers is right now with casting. Yeah, like I'm really, I'm getting really excited about this movie. Yeah. It's weird yeah. to think about. It's similar to like Suicide Squad, where you're like, oh, like okay, they're doing another Batman movie, but the, the cast, the, the people that are behind it, and, and especially after seeing Joker, like it's really, it, it, this movie could be really good. Mm-hmm. Are you guys uh, hoping that Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne are makey outy? Of course, yes. always, yeah, so that's always. What Bring, uh, dude, that's Make-y-outy. Batman Returns when Michelle Pfeiffer licks Michael Keaton and he like literally takes this. The she, he she, he takes her spit and puts it in his mouth with his tongue bring back spit swapping to superhero movies is what go. I want that sounds well, good okay. the, the other that thing though hot that, freaking thing. and you, you kind of mentioned it or alluded to it is that Matt Reeves is in charge of this thing right and he's the he, like and I bring this up all the time I loved Rise of the Planet of the Apes which was Rupert uh, Wyatt and I was bummed when he left the project then when Reeves came in, I was like, oh, wait, this guy did let me in. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be. And, and I, Dawn is my favorite. So out of the, great. And I love the, the last one. I thought he knew the character. He knew how to, he gets great performances out of his actors. It's a great trilogy of movies. It really, it really is. is. And I think right. that he's going to be able, that's, that's the difference we were just saying with Halle Berry's Catwoman. She had a pitoff or whatever it is. 
Exactly. <laughs> Bad director. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have a vision, uh, didn't have a great vision, and I think that Matt Reeves has a particular vision. You look at everyone that's being cast thus far, and this is going to be this is going to be kind of a cool. It looks like a cool, young, sexy Batman. Yeah, uh, interesting franchise. That so. they said uh, Variety says that the in recent weeks the role came down to Zoe Kravitz and Zazzy Beetz, mm. which I am. And so, Isaac Gonzalez yeah, and, from Baby Driver. And, oh, and more like people too. as well, uh, Alicia Vikander. But to me, Zazie Beach would have been absolutely the wrong pick for this role. And How come? Because she is too, um, too girl next story endearing sweet in that way as opposed to Zoe right. who has edge. Right. Zazie doesn't have that kind of edge to me. I well, Zoe has that. like the actual original superhero story because her parents are Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. She also has a Warner Brothers connection already with Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. So. She, she was True. also not allowed to audition for The Dark Knight Rises because she was told that it was, what's the, uh, let me look. She said something that was, they, they weren't going for that kind of casting. She was like. Audition for Dark Knight Rises for what role? She would have instead of mm. Anne Hathaway? Uh, yeah. You're saying Zoe Kravitz? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, How old would she have been? Back then? Or yeah. was 10 years ago, right? Yeah, let me see. Give me no, I guess it was, was, was around, around Days of Future Past. Well, she's got to be did. 31 now, right? How old is she now? 30. So yeah, she was probably like 21, 22. Oh, she looks more and more like Sinead DeFries so, every day, though. Yeah, 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 yeah she does. This is what she said. According to Kravitz, she had allegedly, uh, allegedly be, been told she was too urban. In the last Batman really? movie, they told me that I couldn't get an audition for a small... Uh, Oh, maybe it wasn't Catwoman. For a small role they were casting oh, okay. because they weren't going urban. It was like, what does that have to do with anything? I have to play the role like, yo, what's up, Batman? What's you gonna? What, what's going on with you? I can't do it. I'm white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> well done, right? I, I, just going back for a second, I love Zazie Beetz. Nothing to do with no, that. Yeah. I just don't no, think that No, but I get what you're saying. Same thing with Lisa Vikander. Lisa Vikander to me is a phenomenal oh, Lisa, actress. Yeah, I, just, I agree. And I, and I actually really want to see a second Tomb Raider. Um, but she is an action star, so I could see that a little more. I could, but I just, the, the, this is there's better something about her though. with Alicia Vikander doesn't have that kind of rough edge to her. She plays tough, yeah. but rough is different. And I think that I would much rather, and I and sorry if, if I offended anyone on this one, I think she's a much better um, uh, Lara Croft oh. than, than Angelina Jolie ever was. Sure. Um, I think she's way more true to the, the, the video game character, right. and I'm looking forward to that second movie. But when I see all of those people that were potentially cast, I think that she makes the most sense. Yeah. Well, well, and also 100%. because you can't like to me, Michelle Pfeiffer is always going to be Catwoman. Like she's she's amazing, and you can't replace her. So I think this is actually a really smart choice, and mm-hmm. that the, that Zoe brings a diff- you have to bring like a different sort of edginess and craziness to yeah. the character. And and I don't and all the actresses that you're mentioning, I think Zoe's the best one. To, I think so. To yeah. Anne Hathaway was never really Catwoman. I liked her. As Catwoman. She, I think she did a fine job. What do you mean? I just. Like, well, I don't know. I liked like, her as Catwoman. She, she was good, she was but Catwoman, not. so what do you mean? Like, she wasn't that good as Catwoman. Like, she, oh, that's different. Do you, I, like, I but she never, she never was, like, it, we never got, like, a cool little oh, origin right. story. We never got, like, I'm Catwoman. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, eh, I yeah, think I, she was She was good, but the second. writing no, no, wasn't yeah. as Get off that page for a second. Guys, can get off that page for a second? Just pull off another tab, yeah. All right, so I have a question for you. I saw it. You already know. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see it. So... How many? So I don't know how to phrase this now. Too. So true or false? Will this be the first time? Uh, this will be the first time that Zoe Kravitz has ever played Catwoman. True or false? In a movie. Mm-hmm. It is false. I'm going to say false. Well, the way you asked it, yeah. I gotta say false. I already asked the question yeah. if it wasn't false. Well, because I, it's at this point, well, because I could. I could. I don't. I didn't remember that being the yeah. case. Yeah, she was the voice of of Catwoman in um Lego in the Batman. Lego Batman. Ah. Yeah, which is and I didn't. I found that RB three told me that yesterday. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, forgot. Do you guys um, ever? Uh, no. Did I ever tell you my Lenny Kravitz in New York story when I met him at the gym? <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. No. Okay, so I walked in. I used to work at. It's the same gym where I met David, David Bowie. Bowie. Okay. So I walk in the one morning, it's early in the morning, and uh, the, the treadmill is going full tilt. And I'm like, holy sh... I mean, I used to work out very early in the morning, and rarely would you hear the treadmill going that hard that early in the morning. And I, and I lean in, and I was like, guys wearing a lot of clothes for the treadmill. I turned to the, the guy who's running the front desk, I was like, is that Lenny Kravitz? And like, as a joke, he's like, yeah, it's Lenny Kravitz. I look in, Lenny Kravitz has velvet bell bottoms, nice. black boots, he's Perfect. running in boots on a treadmill, a purse, a like furry coat, Big sunglasses and a skull cap, and he's running full tilt 
on the treadmill in boots. It's like you at, a, at a, one of the Halloween horror Yes, it was crazy. And then I was, I saw, so I like, I got kind of starstruck just like watching Lenny Kravitz full tilt work out with boots. Then he went and did like a couple chests and he left. Oh, a couple bench presses, and that was that. Well, well that's why he's able to produce. Do you think that's produce. 100% accurate, or do you think Makuga's mind has manifested the jacket and, and brought all of those I parts can see in? it. And then he always wears in big my head. sweaters and scarves. In my head, I can see it right yeah, now. Yeah, it's probably pretty True. accurate. It's probably 90, 97%. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was impressive to see a man run that fast in yeah. boots. Um, okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think that she is the the right choice for this particular Batman? You got you got Robert Pattinson as Batman. You got Zoe Kravitz now as Catwoman. We don't know yet what Jonah Hill is going to play, if anything. He's rumored. Um, He's rumored for Riddler, Riddler or, or, and Penguin. Or, Penguin. Right. or Penguin. I I I think I'm on the opposite side. I think that he should play Riddler very much. I think Penguin is is the easier choice. And I think that that's what everyone expects him to play. Yeah. He should and, play Calendar Man or 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 yeah. Kind yeah. King, King or yeah, Kite or Kite Man. True. He is. There's also now rumors that there's going to be standalone villain movies for DC across yeah. the board. So uh, those don't work. Specifically, <laughs> uh, one for Mister Freeze, right. yes. one, one Wait, for really? Riddler. R- rumor, but totally yeah. rumor right now. But yeah. Mister Freeze Use from Ar- rumor, no. Arnold can't be replaced but, with those puns. That's true. <laughs> but just saying <laughs> that Jonah Hill possibly could be in talks. Standalone and not that That's movie. That's cool. Interesting. And you know, we, uh, so I just did uh, uh, Movie Fights, which was Joker-themed, and uh, one of the questions was actually, uh, what villain would you bring? Or not what villain, what comic book character would you bring and remake a movie a la how Joker did a little bit of King of Comedy, and uh, and Logan was kind of like Shane. So I brought up Catwoman, Sunset Boulevard. Ah. And and people oh. that idea. So like, that they, if DC did that, I would not be mad. If they were just doing these like Joker related movies. I think that pieces. Mr. Yeah, Freeze exactly. has the most interesting story. I, I, th- I would love to see that. I mean, right. the yeah, one from the animated series, like w- that episode where you see, like, you know, how he lost his wife. Like, mm-hmm. it's beautiful. It's they so do a sad good job and beautiful. job on Gotham as well. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's so funny because you, know, you, you goofed about it, but like, <laughs> that's Arnold's version of him is always stuck in everybody's head. But that doesn't mean it's a killer because you look at again. Not enough people saw it, but Carl Urban completely brought back the, the seriousness in Dread right. because as much as I love Stallone, that movie is a disaster right. with him and Rob Schneider. Um, but he was able to revitalize the character, and I think that you could do the same thing with Mr. Freeze sure. if done correctly. It, it's definitely an uphill battle, yeah. but for sure, right. for sure. <laughs> yeah. well, Judge Dread, they were just trying to make Demolition Man too. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but even but worse, be, Rob, because Rob Schneider was so bad in that yeah, movie. That is so the very ice of you. Yeah. Cool it, bro. Cool it, bro. Stop it. <laughs> You're frozen in time. <laughs> um, all right, it's 11.15. So. You get all that glitter on him, too. Yeah, a lot of good. glitter. I, was remember, I remember being so excited for oh, that. Oh, Schumacher. Because, you know, when you think of Arnold back in the day, you're like, oh, wow, that's yeah, Arnold. That's free. But then he's and doing Uma Goofy. Too. But he was doing Goofy uh, just, uh, Jingle All the Way Arnold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the Arnold. It just felt like they were trying to do the Batman 66 show. Absolutely. Well, yeah. you know the whole thing behind that. It was that the first two were burnt. They were very dark. Yeah. And the studio was like, no, we're bringing in Joel Schumacher now. We need to sell toys. We need to they, sell they toys. They weren't selling enough toys. It's got to yeah. be more for kids. And then so Schumacher was like, okay. So he made that lighter version for the third one. And then they told him lighter. He's like, you want me to make it lighter than I did for the third one? Nipples are for kids. That, <laughs> Fat nipples. But, Yay. But then that was all. I mean, if you watch this documentary of, of Schumacher talking about all this stuff, and he's saying they basically threw him under the tied. bus. His he hands was. were tied. Yeah, he got thrown He's a very good director. Yeah. Yeah. Phone booth is awesome. Um, and Lost Boys. And yeah. But Batman yeah. Forever. Yeah. Listen, I know a lot of people don't like Batman Forever. I actually really enjoy Batman Forever at points. Yeah. But if we're talking about like it being for kids... Nicole Kidman like throws herself at Batman on that roof. She's got that lingerie on. We were talking about no, kids. she's just wearing a sheet. Yeah, it's just lighter. Oh, no, she's like she comes out and she's like, I listen, Dorina. I fucking remember. Okay, I watched that <laughs> scene about ra- a billion she's times. She's wrapped around a sheet from her bed. She looks great. No, but there's a point when she she takes off her oh, robe and she's maybe. on the roof and she's okay. got the lingerie. And she's in don't. Boots. Don't mess Lenny with my Kravitz. Nicole Kidman partial nudity she looks expertise. So good in them. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm with you though. If yeah. I have to watch Batman uh, forever. Returns or Forever, I'll take Forever every day. Me you too. guys are you guys so are nuts. wrong. Every day. Just nuts. crazy. All day long. Every day. Crazy. All day. Even so great the soundtrack, only, but the only no. stuff that works for that movie is the Batman and no. Catwoman stuff. Yes. Everything ex- except the last. Which is better than 
all part of the penguin. The, like the uh, how, just split Mark, the, put those things together. Like Max Shrek, Christopher Walken. Matt, this guy, thank a, you. What are you talking Tyler. about? He's one of the best villains in in the, the movies because with the bombs like, on like, them. like all oh. yeah, as much as it's goofy. It's stupid. I have a question. Politically, it's awesome. Uh, unrelated to what you're talking about, but back to the Zoe Kravitz stuff. Do you guys feel like we will ever see a DC movie in which Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa are in the same scene? Oh, it's interesting. I it, I don't know if this ties. If, if it, I mean, this is the easy answer. But if it ties, if we find it does tie into the DCU, yeah. then yes, yes, yeah, for sure. And I that's mean, what, her brother, her stepdad? No, it's her stepdad. Stepdad. stepdad, stepdad. I know. I also think this is not going to happen. But I would love to see Joaquin Joker with all these characters. Me too. Yeah. How old is Jason Momoa, by the way? Because that's thirty-eight, thirty-nine. <laughs> he might even be like forty-nine years older than, I was than her. Say 40, yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, he's not. He's like the same age as Joe no? Manganiello, I think. So he's like right. forty. 41, 42, something 40, Age wise, he is uh, 40. 40. So she, yeah. he's 10 years older than his stepdaughter. Yeah. All right, there you go. How old am I? Hot middle age man. Bonet. I would guess Lisa Bonet is 51. Yeah, that's Oh, look at that. 51. 51. She's so hot. And wow. how old is Zoe Kravitz? 30. 30. 30. So she wow. was young. Had her when she was 21. Yeah. With with Lenny Kravitz, the, the rock star. Yeah. Who? yeah, who who works out on the, in the gym with in boots? boots. Yeah. Never heard of him. And sweaters. Yeah. Uh, anything else going on? Any breaking news, Probably Riley? Or? No, unless we no. covered it. I'll check one more time. But I think uh, yeah, unless you, I think well, you need to look at I that had... uh, other notes down there. There's a, there's a bear that plays a piano, man. Oh yeah, let's do that. That's let's watch a bear play a piano. Awesome. Bear breaks into a Colorado house. This is in the train bear. This is a bear that just wanted to play some fucking tunes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> plays the pi- and I love this headline. Plays the piano, but not very well. He's a bear. He's Give a him a, bear. Break. He's a, a bear. break. Let's see. Let's he's see been what he's trying. Got. This is what they got on surveillance. Can you, can you blow it up there, Cody? That's a bear. Oh, that's a bear. What are we pointing at? It's like in the oh, we, corner. Oh, you can't here. blow it up. There we go. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, he's gonna come out and then play oh, this piano right here. Okay. No, no, it's cool. There we go. I Let's think go. maybe you click on the actual title up top left. Oh, there, there it is. Wonderful. I don't see the bear. Do you see the bear? I guess they're saying it's in the left, left corner. corner. Here it comes. Where? Oh, I hear something. It's just the night. It's like Paddington music. Yes. You see him over there, Riley? No, he's going to come. They, well, they said the air. Oh, there I see. Goes. I see. Here it comes. Oh, how is the bear even up there? Whoa. That's what it says. Yeah, what is he doing? Is, is that a picture of a bear corner. also on the on the wall? Or yeah. Oh, look at there. There we go. Oh. Here's the bear. It's a oh. big bear. So Can you imagine? It's so Terrifying. cute until it eats yeah. your face. Please believe the black hair got in through an open window, dummies. Yeah. <laughs> what part of the country is this? Colorado. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how about not leaving your window? My, hey, my wife uh, freaks guys, out about a little crack over the door. So come spider's going to come in. You're worried about a big bear oh, coming in. Now he's going to play I some jams. What if a bear took a shit in the middle of the living room? Serves yeah. him right. Oh, there you go. Atta boy. Go for it. It's like Elton John starting all over again. Oh, oh no, he's over it. It's he's going to come back. I actually thought that jam? those chords yeah. sounded good. Going to rate now, wait a minute. Did they, playing the piano? Yeah, and not very really well. Come yeah. on, guys. That's yeah. a bad sell. That was a bit. It is. Uh, but still a little cute. bit, little bit clickbait. Really cute. There, uh, wanted a little, you know? a little bit more news. There was something cool that happened this morning that I was oh, excited about. Oh, that's right. About. It's a Roxy news yeah. story. Yeah. What is it? Jennifer Aniston. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, yes, I got engaged, Christian. What's his name? Tell us everything. Hold what do you do? How do you do it? When's the day? Tell us off. His name is John Cena. Oh, John! Uh, yeah, what perfect timing! That was good timing. Yeah, oh my god! That's really good. <laughs> What was was this her okay. starting her own Instagram? So yeah, Jennifer Aniston hasn't been on Instagram. She got an Instagram, and this morning Instagram. Is it Jennifer Instagram? Jennifer Aniston. Oh. That's what it is, uh, oh. which I'm surpri- uh, surprised she was able to get oh, come on, at good. this point. But so she started her so own Instagram, right. and the first picture is a selfie at seemingly like a dinner with all of the cast of the six main friends. Okay. It's, it's a selfie of them. And she was like, look, we're friends. And did you uh, freak out when you saw it? Yeah, because obviously you freak out over any of these things. They've made it abundantly clear they're not doing a reboot or a reunion or anything like that. But I feel like it's all all changes in time. Yeah. You know? Do you think yeah. it's you think it's it's definitely possible that this could happen? Where where would it live? Uh, on HBO Max. Or maybe they would do but something like Breaking Bad. I do think and just do a one off like 
They've said no. Or so whatever. They have said uh, Jeffrey Cleric, David Crane, um, Marta Kaufman. Like they, everybody who's ever was involved with it, they've mm-hmm. all been like, no, no. Uh, but what's interesting is that they all actually are friends, seemingly. Yeah. Uh, we know that Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox are friends. Mm-hmm. They're seen together all of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, David Schwimmer has made appearances on each one of their shows. So whether that was um, episodes or Cougar Town yeah. or whatever. So he keeps in touch with them as well. I do hear my inside sources say that... That Matthew Perry is the one who, and Lisa Kudrow, they don't hang out with them as much. Okay. But, you know, they they all seemingly, like, are still they friends, which is kind of wild. So would you go with an, an Anastagram or Anstagram? I don't think I would know Anstagram was Jennifer Aniston. Okay, so but Jennifer Anastagram. Yeah. Anastagram. Okay, 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 Anastagram. Yeah, got it, got it, got yeah. it. Trademark that. Three thing. million likes, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, and this don't got you, picked don't up. You, don't you get worried? That if they do that make they another, might botch it. yeah, because it's like it does. Does that that style doesn't last, really work anymore? But I feel like, and Roxy, you're a bigger fan than I am. Like I feel like the last couple of seasons, they already had messy storylines yeah. that it wouldn't matter. It's similar to the X Files. Like it doesn't matter that you do something new. You just because see so I'm on season nine right now because you guys know I always I'm constantly looping, and I, feel, I didn't know that, but it sounds like how you drive around the city as well. <laughs> And my fiance drives me around now. Oh, right. Thank you very John much. Cena. Who's, your, who's your fiance? John Cena! Thank you. He's, very, he's an excellent driver. Thank yeah, you very much. Good. I'm a very excellent driver. Yeah. Um, <laughs> woof. So, anyway, I think that that would not mess it up because I didn't. I don't feel like season... Did you just text Cody? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he did. Cody Poor doesn't Roxy. seem happy about it. I was anymore. like, why is your phone Poor down there? Roxy. Uh, yeah. Poor Roxy. And then he kicked me. And then he fucking kicked <laughs> you me. You finished. You, you finished the story. It was good. I love the final season. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, me too. The final yeah, episode is amazing. You blew past that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so if I want to talk about Grease again. But hold on. Please I, I want to ask you a couple questions since we're on it. First of all, I knew that this Instagram existed because Amanda was like, it's hey, Jennifer Aniston! Instagram. And then I said the Anastagram and she was like, no. And I was no. like, all right, cool. So I'm still not friends working Instagram? Is that what you said? Sh- friends Instagram. Friends Instagram. Yeah. Friends Shout Friendster. out to Friendster. Koi Jandro who actually texted this to me at 7 in the morning. Nice. So oh, nice. that's friendship. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. As opposed to playing a fart in the middle of the. If you or, were to, or kicking you under the table. You're mm-hmm. not here much longer. If you were, <laughs> you're right. Thank <laughs> God I'm here for this one. Right. If you were to that's make. That's your other show. Yeah, <laughs> that's the other show. We'll get if into it when you're gone. That's true. No, if you were if you were going to make a Friends movie or a Friends series. What would it look like? Uh, I do think that there's room for them to come back for a limited series, like a eight episode, ten episode run. I think that we know based off of the finale where people were going. I think you'd probably have to retcon uh, a, a little bit of Joey. Um, oh yeah, but, the, yeah. The, the show. Yeah. Like it was yeah, a bad yeah. dream or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, there it is. That? Yeah. yeah, you got to do that. Yeah. yeah, something like that. He never um, left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's so many. Like, if we could in any way, shape, or form get a Bruce Willis appearance, a Brad mm-hmm. Pitt appearance. Yes, Paul Rudd, obviously, because I still think Bonnie Somerville. Bonnie Somerville, a hundred percent. Like, yes, there's room for a lot of different celeb appearances, but then also, mostly, I just want to see like where are they at, and I don't want them to go all tricky on me, where none of the couples are together anymore. Like, mm-hmm. that's crazy. So, where are they at? All the jokes, the one where, that kind of stuff. 10, 12? Yeah, I think, yeah, 8, 10. Okay. Uh, and I think a lot of people have talked about, like, but what if you made it on HBO so now it's, like, you can swear and you guys can. No, I don't want this to. It, this is not, no. like, a, I, I just like want Full it to House. be actual friends. Like, yeah. Full House did it. Like, Fuller House. Fuller House, yeah. House yeah. Right, right, right. Did you guys ever hear that story? I, I don't know. I think she told it on, friend, on, on Ellen, maybe, Aniston, or maybe it's Courtney Cox or whatever. The, like, the week before the first episode of Friends aired, uh, Marta Kaufman took them to Vegas and said, hey, Enjoy this weekend in Vegas because this is the last time you're ever going to be able to do this. Yes. And then a year later, they were the mm-hmm. biggest stars on the yes. planet. Yes. So many crazy things about yeah. the pilot uh, and how the show was shot. Matt LeBlanc had a like 103 fever for the first day of shooting, really? something like mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston auditioned for each other's roles. Right. Right. Like there, there's so many things that like had to go right for this to become the beast that it was. Mm-hmm. Um, it was only four friends originally, not six. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love Historia. this show so yeah, much. You should, so we should do a French showdown. Yeah, but you know what I'm not great at. Trivia. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the answer. Yeah, we've been through this. 
Yeah, yeah, but you would know. But you would but know. No, no because friends? if you if we are if you ask me during movie trivia showdown who plays Chandler, I can't answer the question. Like I, do you just blink? Yeah, I can't. Like who, I who panic. Who played his? I don't. I, who played I, his I mother? can't. I can't. Who played his mother. Which one? Or his father. Who I, played Ch- uh, Chandler's father? I don't know. I, uh, Five. I don't know. It's uh, Kathleen Turner. Mm. And who played the mom? I don't know. Uh, uh, Morgan uh, Fairchild. Fairchild. Yeah, Fairchild. Uh, Kathleen Turner. I actually know the answer to, it, but the other one I don't know. No, not not blanked. I can't access it. Uh, like I literally the brain just shuts off. If somebody asks me questions like that, like I cannot. What were we playing the other day? You say Morgan oh, Freeman. IMDb. I can't think of all of a sudden. I can't think of one Morgan Freeman oh. movie that's ever happened. What's Morgan Freeman's first name? <laughs> Mor- Morgan. There you go. <laughs> that was right. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. yeah. Breaking news. Legit breaking news. Yeah. Legit. All right, break. What is it? Yeah. Kevin Feige has uh, he is now the COO, uh-huh. the chief creative officer that of Marvel. S- He's overseen CCO wow. everything. All right, well that changes it. That changes. COO creative. Sorry, operating? chief creative. Uh, wait, is sorry. Is it COO yeah, it. operating or CCO? Okay, yeah. sorry, CCO. Yeah. Yes, chief, chief creative, creative officer right. Marvel to his title. Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. That means for the brand is that the company's key creative executives. Across film, TV, and publishing will now report to him. Mm-hmm. Sources said already master of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He, the oversight will extend to overall creative direction of Marvel storytelling and content uh, across all boards. So what does this mean as far as the Star Wars thing goes? Because when you... Yeah. Well, but what there's, there's two... His, this, he's gonna, who asked it? You just what was it? his official? Just president of Marvel. Te- uh, Marvel. I don't know what he was before. I wonder what his official title is. I don't know. But the people were wondering because the Star Wars thing, he's still set to do a movie, uh, co-produce a movie with Kathleen Kennedy. And then a lot of talk was, well, what does this mean? If it does well, will he then he take, would over? take over? Yeah. Right. Now, there is, there's two scenarios. One is that they promoted him here. He's going to have, he's, it really is just going to be a, a one-off of Star Wars. And he, and he moves on and, he, and people report to him and he handles all the Marvel stuff. The other side of that is he can do both. Um, which would be really handling hand in a lot of a lot of the keys yeah. uh, to the big castle. So, what excites you? What would I like? Yeah, I gotta see. I want to see what he. Um, Feige has proven himself as far as knowing the narrative, and uh, this this story alone shows that they 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 trust him with his creative vision to basically hold all the creative choices, right? I think whether it's Feige or someone else, there needs to be that for Star Wars. Um, there needs to yeah. be a creative yeah. head that is making these moves. Now, if it's Feige, great. Is he a big enough Star Wars fan? I don't know what his movie's going to look like. I don't know the choices he wants to make. Um, yeah. But ideally, the thing that I would like, though, Rox, what you're asking, yeah. I would like a, a, a head of creative over at Star Wars that oversees full star storylines. And you want that to be him or you do not I would like it to be him. him. It, do, it doesn't have to be him. I, I, don't, I think like that's long lot. gone now I think you're this. right. I think you're right. I think Dave Filoni is the man. We'll see what happens Star with Mandalorian. Wars. Yeah, Mandalorian, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, that's that ship has sailed now. I he'll produce a movie still, I hope, for Star Wars. But Jeez. this CCO, he he's overseeing everything. everything Marvel, yeah. He's he's not gonna have time for Star yeah, Wars. I know. So he Would wasn't. You be... He was only working in movies then. He wasn't doing anything Correct. creative consultant for like the TV shows but or anything like full, that. But now he is. Yeah, because Jeff Loeb ran TV, right, right, right. And, and Disney Plus, and Disney no, Plus, and now he's getting now. everything is folded right. under Kevin Feige. Yeah. I wow. mean, does that mean we're going to get, like, he, so Daredevil. he's going to oversee every Disney Plus TV show that comes out? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And, and anything that, that goes Marvel. on TV that's not streaming and the comics. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And mm-hmm. the comics. Yeah. Jesus. So here's how the reporting structure will line up right under Feige. Dan Buckley will continue as the president of Marvel Entertainment, where Ike Perlmutter remains chairman. Uh, Boo. L- yeah. A long well, creative like collaborator him. for Feige, and pu- they didn't get along. In publishing and television, Buckley will have a, a dual reporting structure going forward. Deadline here. So he will continue to oversee publishing creative editorial in that capacity. He will now report to Feige. Buckley is also responsible for publishing operations, sales, creative services, games, licensing, and events. There he will report to Perlmutter. It is expecting that Joe Caseta will remain a creative lead for Marvel Entertainment, reporting to Buckley, and it is expected that all the creative execs in publishing will report to Buckley. What is a dual reporting structure? Uh, so they report to Buckley, who's heading the publishing, and then but Perlmutter? Buckley reports to Feige. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. Isn't that all reporting structures? M- dual. You report, so they... you report to your boss. You report to your well, boss, Buckley. You don't re- so the, it's the, they won't report directly to Feige. So, but he reports. To, yes, it's it's the same. It's just it's just 
Yeah. Called okay. dual structure. Uh, okay, look. So we will take another break here. This is this is big news uh, for Kevin Feige. And the, yeah, then the question does remain, what the hell happens with Star Wars, if anything? Um, all right, we'll come back. We're going to do call-ins. So we'll put those phone numbers up. We are going to be giving away, we're going to try to give away five uh, five packages. So a total of 10 enough tickets. So we'll do that. But you can call in with a question also. But only call in if you're in the Florida area or can get to Florida this Saturday. All right, we'll be back after the break. Hey guys, it's Perry here to let you know that Movie Talk is moving. We've had a great time in this 3 p.m. Pacific slot, but guess what? We want you to start your day with Collider Movie Talk, so we're moving. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a longer show with some brand new segments. So tune in starting Monday, September 16th, 9 a.m. Pacific. See you there. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashadi on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel for all the sports goodness. Wouldn't you like hey guys, to it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops everything. Thursday on Collider Conversations, and I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Coy Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Well, hello there. I'm Ken Napsok, one of the hosts of Collider Jedi Council, and I'd like to invite you to listen to our show, watch our show. It's on every Thursday. It's on the Collider video channel, and it's also available in podcast form if you'd like to listen to our sweet voices. On Collider Jedi Council, me, Christian Harloff, and a bevy of guests, I say, talk Star Wars. We celebrate Star Wars. We dig into the Star Wars news. We speculate everything about Star Wars including your questions. So join us on Collider Jedi Council. You're going to have a great time. What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown oh. recap show hosted by John Roca what? and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the blue brand. So do yourself a favor and Go subscribe yes. at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. <laughs> Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday hey everyone, and John Sunday Roca. in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, John, from John, Instagram, John, John, and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. It's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Apple Podcasts, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars, episode nine's coming out. And then after episode nine, you got TV shows. So we're going to be your big, sports center for Star it, Wars. Make, make do it, it big. Come on, be real. 
Hi, I'm Amy Dallin, one of the hosts of Collider Heroes. And starting right now, you can catch our show Tuesday nights with a new Collider Heroes and a longer Collider Heroes podcast where Koi and I are going to talk your ears off. You already know that's coming. So make sure to go to YouTube, subscribe, and find us on the Collider Heroes podcast feed for all of that sweaty goodness. The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness. We talk about slashers. We talk about space horror. You name it. All on that show on the Collider Factory feed. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out. Get scared. Hopefully you survive the Witching Hour. Tell you one thing I did see last night is, and I didn't want to see it. Uh, James Vanderbeek dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow dancing around the, the stage as, and dancing with the stars. Oh yeah. Ick. Why didn't you want to see that? I don't care about that stuff, and and plus the fact that I like James Vanderbeek, but he, he he doesn't pull off that swagger. He did a really good job though in that. Remember that Kristen Ritter show that I love? Don't trust the oh, Bee yeah. Apartment Twenty Three. Yeah. He acts. He's he was good. In he's yeah. he's oh, yeah, acting he's like himself, but oh. he's acting like a douchey version of yeah. himself. He's as actually actor. I mean, he's really I've, funny. I've met met him a few times. He's a, he's a nice guy, but I just didn't buy the swagger with him and uh, <laughs> Captain, Jack, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, when we were in Disneyland. The, I think the best job of any of those characters is Captain Jack Sparrow. He just yeah. walks around drunk. Yeah, he just says, well, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, any of the villains. I, I heard like if you run into Gaston in Orlando, like he, I guess he does push us with people, and That's he's cool. always trying to one up. Well, there it is. I think no. I told you my my sister in law was Cruella de Vil for like oh, six yeah, or yeah, seven. Yeah, was that yeah, super yeah. fun? Well, yeah, yeah, she got in trouble, kind well, of. Well, yeah, like people would always complain, like Cruella de Vil's too mean. She's like, well, she is a villain. Yeah. She took. Uh, we were there with my nieces, and she literally grabbed my niece's stuffed little dog, oh. just from her, and kept walking. And my niece's like, what do I do? I'm like, go get her. Yeah. yeah. And then also, the evil queen's my favorite though. Yeah. Because yeah. kids come up to her, and then she's so like, like child. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, what's your favorite color? And they'll be like, pink. And she's like, wrong answer. It's purple. Like. She, yeah. They just mess with the kids all the yeah, time. I would Excellent. love that job. Uh, you you just take it. You have the job without even getting paid. You just do it. How anyway. tall are you? Uh, five seven. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm not too short. No, they would let you do at yeah. five seven is the minimum. Yeah. Oh, no. really? Look at you. Look at you. you know all the rules. Yeah. Yeah. What, what 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 could you be? Okay. Uh, well, I'm too Lilo? tall for Tinkerbell. Bell, oh, right. I'm too short right. for the princesses. That's right. <laughs> so you know all the rules. I could be. I could be, be a furry. Animal. I could be a furry. You could be an animal. Yeah, furry. I yeah. can have my face covered. <laughs> Riley, what was that movie when we had that guy on the old Schmoe show? That they did that that crazy movie about the uh, Disney. You know what I'm talking about? The yes, Disney? it is Escape. Uh, from Tomorrowland? From tomorrow, yeah, no, escape from, yeah, it's what something like that. What are you trying to do? What am I trying to do? Yes, yeah, uh, I don't know the name of the movie, but it's... Yeah. it's of what? Maybe I can help. I'm it's good at trivia. So, you know, it's just, it was this movie, it was like a, a small independent film, and we had the, 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 you would love this movie, Doreen, this is so your style. What is it? So it was Escape from Tomorrow. Escape from Tomorrow. Yeah, right. They couldn't call it Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So it is a small independent film where these you know, read the, the weird sights and events threaten Ooh. a a man's uh, sanity during a family trip to a big theme park. But it's Ooh. it's yeah it's and a, they they filmed it in Disney. It's right. black and white. Look at that yeah. poster. It's black and white. Yeah, they filmed it in Disney. It was it was guerrilla style. That Bloody they did it. Mickey hand. You, you would love it, you Dorena. Would, you would love this Bloody. movie. Yeah. This movie. Look I didn't at, even know look this at existed. the creep, Look at the creepy face in that kid. On the bottom there. Yeah, you want to watch it, Josh? They didn't get in trouble. Um, no, you know we had. The, they didn't get in trouble. Uh, it's something we have the full interview. It's, it's still. I can't remember what he said, but this was like 2013 when the guy we had the yeah. lead actor on. Remember when they he was? They started to look at him because they would it would they would film it like they were filming like home video, like yeah. Um, yeah. you know family vacation style, and people started to check it uh, like. The people started to look and wonder, and so they ran into the bathroom. He moves the, the mic. He throw, he puts it in his pocket. They go. They leave. They get in a van. They drive off, and the gardeners, like doing the thing, are like now looking at them as they go because everybody they have eyes everywhere at Disneyland. Yeah, that I was know, one of I his got stories. From so this, this, I, it I, has I, been compared to the work of David Lynch. Yeah, so look, <laughs> like, so, oh, so see look that. the film drew attention due to the fact that um, they shot most of it on location at both Disney World and Disneyland without permission from Disney. The owner and operation of both parks, due to Disney's reputation of being protective of its intellectual property, the cast and the crew used guerrilla filmmaking techniques to avoid attraction attention, such as keeping their scripts on their iPhones and shooting on handheld video cameras, That's similar amazing. to those by the park visitors. After the phot principal um, photography was complete, 
the director was so determined to keep the project a secret from Disney that he edited it in South Korea. That's right. Sundance similarly uh, declined yeah, but, to discuss that the makes film. No sense. Hold on. Sundance similarly uh, declined to discuss the film in detail before it was shown. It was called the ultimate guerrilla film. Rather than suppressing the film as uh, more claimed that it would happen, Disney chose to just ignore it. Yeah. Do you think I can was... see this on Disney Plus? <laughs> no, but that would be amazing. But you should watch. You would love this movie. It was a crazy movie. Uh, it sounds amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Well, oh, hey more, guys. More breaking news? This is the big one. What? We have a developing story. Yes. Uh, I'm going to turn the oh, I know what over it is. to my colleague here. I know what it is. I know this story. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alex. No, this is uh, Christian, oh. the other one. Hi, oh. guys. Oh, uh, so Formally maybe this is the break. What's up, Christian? This might be breaking news that I think that it might be. What is it? <laughs> so, yeah. um, you guys just went to break. It wasn't and, uh, us. I wasn't us, and I know what I you're going to do here. Okay. Koi Jandra oh, came out of the yeah. map. Okay. 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 okay, good. Go ahead. And I felt bad for doing it, and no. I only came to the show I'm because glad you did. I'm glad you I did. had to unclog it because it got all clogged up <laughs> when I saw it. So I walk, I, and let me, let me just tell you exactly what I saw. I'm glad you, that you brought this to our attention. Um, so <laughs> I walked down the hallway, and both doors are shut. Okay, so Roxy was in one of the bathrooms, and then the door opens, and Koi comes in. And Koi comes out and goes, <coughs> goes don't go in there. He puts his hands up. He said, "Because the toilet's clogged and there's already poop in it." Yep. <laughs> and I go, and I was like, "Did you do that?" He's like, "No, nah, would have owned up to it if I did it." Mm. And so right there, that means guilty in my mm. point. Mm. But you but think he's quite guilty. Nah, he said no. Uh, I think Corey would have probably said, it. You, "I don't want to throw him under the bus with the buses." He's telling everybody right now. He he's told me when I walked out. So, so it maybe it's like he's one of those who smelled it, dealt it. Could it could be so yeah. hard because if it was the girls' bathroom, it's whoever the last person is because there's only one toilet. Yeah, but, but for you guys, it's a bunch it of pissers. Be, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a big old pooper. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. said, yeah, he said there's poopers. a big log in there. So and it, and it made it worse because like the the plunger was kind of like Ugh. like the oh, actual no. plunge was oh, higher up than the stick, so I had to use my foot to kick it down. I'm not happy about it. I don't. Not happy about it. Oh, I can tell you, I can tell you that it wasn't anyone in this room because Koi, Koi will tell you. You can. Back up You're our pretty story. quiet. No, I, mean, I haven't pooped today. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of worried Dorina. about it. I should have pooped this Here's morning. Here's how I know it wasn't Darina. Darina wanted to chat with me for a second. I said, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. She stayed over. He okeah. did. Okay. okay, I believe you. Yeah, yeah. And it couldn't have been unreal. me because I was in the uh, other nice. bathroom. I think it's Koi. It was either Koi or, Koi or Roka because Roka was here this morning and now he's gone. Or Roka was, you can always Roka, blame Snyder. Oh, that's true. Well, Roka was doing wrestling. So he he might have an out. I'm gonna have to do some detective work. Wasn't but he sick? Yeah. Could have dropped a bomb and then hit the. the yeah, I'm not standing for the shit. Yeah, uh, nice. Uh, Literally, uh, hey. Uh, see you guys. All right, get the crap out of here. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, crap. Did Alex have an alibi? No, but Alex has something to plug. Alex, plug. Oh, oh, plug. oh. 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 hello. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Hey guys. Um, just one uh, for the LA uh, audience. If you guys are not going to be in Orlando. Son of a. <laughs> oh, hey, cue that up again. If you're not going to be in Orlando, Orlando. <laughs> uh, this weekend, next weekend, and throughout October, we're doing my company that I work for, Street Food Cinema. We're doing a Halloween series, oh, October, yeah. all scary movies throughout uh, October. Christian, we're showing the thing on Sunday. I know you won't be there, but uh, yeah, that'll be a thing. And Josh, you're totally welcome to come. Thank all the movies look so fun. Th I'm so thanks, Alex. I'm, I want to go to all I appreciate Alex. your invitation, but you yeah. can also go straight to What Albert. is it? Streetfoodcinema.com? Mm. Streetfoodcinema.com. If you use the promo code Collider Live, you can get 50% off general okay. admission. Whoa. Is that true? You just made that up. It is true. I just put in the promo code this morning. 50% yeah. off? Yep. You got Damn. Dracula, Sleepy Hollow, lots of great movies. Some good ones. Okay, look at that. Good move. Thank you, Alex. Uh, you go, Alex. All right, look, we have 15 minutes to give away five uh, sets of Holy tickets moly. for five? October 19th. We still have five sets? We have Five sets of two. Did uh, you ask permission for that or no? I did yesterday. Did yes? after okay. I Is that aside from what <laughs> we gave away yesterday? Yes. Uh, okay, if, so if we if we can get to it, if we can get to it today, yeah, great. But if not, so only call in if you can make it to Florida on October nineteenth. Um, and here we go. Cody will open up those phone lines. And not you, right now, oh, so sorry, Derek. You guys will call in now. Everybody remember, from Florida has called in. <laughs> you know, well, all of Florida called in. So if Josh, if Josh is uh, Josh is going to ask you a question. If you don't know the answer to the question, then you can use Ask a Schmo to mm -hmm. anybody in the room. You have Darina, you have Josh, you have myself, you have Roxy, you got Cody or Alex or. Uh, Mark Yodius of Riley's. Yeah. So as soon as you guys call in, we will give those away. 
I feel bad for uh, Maurice Cruz yesterday. I was crazy about that. old Maurice. <laughs> well, crazy your shout out was great. Song. Uh, yeah, but I, like I think he wanted like a second thing happening, and then his phone kept cutting out. I don't oh, know yeah. if like the Mexican uh, phone oh, lines get cut. It's Carlos. Yeah, from uh, Tijuana. From yeah. Tijuana, yeah. Uh, so I th- thanks for the calls yesterday. I hope your sister liked her shout out. Yeah. Well, that was yeah, that was a good shout out. She got that. Yeah. But you got to yeah. buy her tequila if she comes. Correct. Here, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Or well, that's not a problem. Land. What's your favorite tequila? Orlando. Zubali Zoo. Uh, too slow. Uh, <laughs> this song just makes me upset. Like, yeah. Again, yeah. I I think think cat. I fucking love this song. Are we gonna go see cats together? I think we all should see cats together. I'm not okay. Speaking of furries, sure. I'll come. Then you can audition yeah, to be I a furry at it. Disneyland. Mm-hmm. There you go. Would you do that? Sure. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're on Clyde Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is Andrew from Lakeland, Florida. All right, Andrew. Andrew, you're going to be playing for these tickets on Saturday night. Um, Right around the corner, Corruption versus the Founding Fathers. By the way, I made this announcement. I should make it here also. Um, We are going to probably release the matches between Brendan the Kid Meyer and Bateman and Roca and Bibiani a little early because if the kid wins, if the kid wins, then it'll be the kid versus either Roca or Bibiani. However, because of Ben Bateman's back surgery, if he wins, then we're going to push that match to Schmodown Spectacular, and I ha- will have another match that will happen in the Does pre-court. Does he get wheeled out like Dr. Xavier? We, like, By December, they should be fine. Yeah. But uh, all right, so are you ready, to, you ready to play the game? Hell yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. What movie does Darina love that I just don't in- understand why people like it? This is from today's show. Oh, that is okay, man. Yeah. Yeah. Would, you have, would you have accepted Batman Returns? No. You wouldn't have accepted no, that? No, because he knows the best Batman. So yeah, ba- Keaton's the best Batman. Okay. I mean, I understand Sorry. Batman Returns. Christian, but going no, back, you said so you would push that match, but you didn't say what would happen instead. I said that I, there'd be another car, there'd be another match that I would announce once we find if, if that is the case. If not, it's a moot point, and then we'll have uh, the kid versus either okay. Roker. Or All right, so Andrew from Lakeland, Florida, hit up yeah. Riley on Twitter. Yeah, uh, and we'll get your email, and then we'll send you those tickets. Yeah. Congratulations, we'll see you on. Way Saturday. to go, Andrew. Okay, so Andrew wins. So now we have four sets. Drew, left. Drew, four Drew, sets Drew, Drew, um, Drew. But yeah, the way, oh, but the way the kid's playing right now. You might as well see him out there, too. Uh, all right. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is Alex from Toronto. Hello, okay. Alex. Alex, can you be able to make it to Florida on Saturday? Sadly not. I just want to call in and let you guys know I love the show. Oh, thank Thanks, you so much. Alex. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Alex. Hey, but we only have like 10 more minutes. What's what that? What is it? Good luck to everyone else. Oh, thank you, Alan. Very nice. Oh, we love you, Alan. Such Alex. sweet people in Canada. Yeah. Just so sweet. You can't you speak again. Speaking of Canadian people, the kid. Yeah. If you guys want a good show to watch, it's called Letter Kenny. It's a Canadian comedy. It's absolutely absurd. It's if you're ever bored on Hulu, it's great. Ah, salut. Salut. Thank you. Hey, you're on Clyde Live. What do we got? I'm back for round two, guys. It's uh, Ico the Rain Man from Boca Raton, Florida. Okay. All right, you, you missed out last time. We're gonna give you a shot. Um, Rain Man. All right, here we go. All right. Excellent. Drive. All right, Rain yeah. Man. Here we go. Christian's favorite comedian bit lately about Jojoba and Pert is from this comic. Fuck. <laughs> Not him. It's you can ask boy. a schmo. You can ask no. a schmo. All right, I'll ask Riley. Don't let me down, Riley. Okay. Is it Andrew Dice Clay? It is. It is! Yes! Give him the tickets! Way to go! You should, you should play the bit, too. You should play the bit. Sea World! Can we get the bit? Well, maybe I don't like fucking Jehovah Conditioner. Maybe I like Pert! <laughs> I love it. That's it. Okay, good. So we got two, so far, two winners. Two well winners. Done. Well done. Coming to oh Florida. God, I love you guys. I'll see you guys on Saturday. See you on Saturday. Yeah. Man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hit me up on Twitter, Riley. all right? I wanted to ask him, like, did somebody name him the Rain Man, or did he name himself the Rain Man? Whatever he wants. Yeah. Man, yeah. He won the ticket. Hey, you're on Clyde Live. What do we got? How you doing, now you know? How you doing, now you know? It's nice to see you in the phone lines for Collider Live. Now you know. <laughs> Now you knew. Now you knew. Now you knew. Yeah, no, this is Tom from Cleveland. I love that <laughs> hey, game. Amazing. It's nice to see you, Tom. Tom, are you gonna be able to make it to Florida on Saturday? Uh, no, I'm not. I Gotta hang up to, uh, on you, you now you know. Now you know. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 he just wanted to get it. Now you know. Saying how you doing? 
You ain't collided live, Nainu. Hi, you're on Collider Live. What do we got? Nainu. Hi, I'm now in New York, and I can make it down to Orlando. Thank you oh, so much. Yeah. See, that's what, all I'm talking about. What was your about. name one more time? Navin. 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 Okay, Navin. Here we go. This is this is your chance to win these tickets. Josh, hit it. Okay. If you were watching today's show, you would know this answer. Who started an Instagram and Roxy freaked out? Oh, shoot. I wasn't watching today's show. Oh, oh. Okay, so you can ask you a schmo. You can ask a schmo. It's a, it's a celebrity, uh, so I'll give you that. I know Riley really bad at it, so I'll take Christian. Christian. <laughs> it, was, it was Carrot Top. Carrot Top. I feel like Carrot Top would already have one, so I'm going to say that's false. That is false! Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. 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 Imagine if I freaked out. Oh, Carrot, Carrot Top! top. Well, but I, I just thought that would it, would it, make, sense? Would it make sense because you, I could see you as a kid like loving yeah, his prop yeah. comedy. I did, I did like Carrot yeah, Top. Yeah. It's, it's good deduction by the uh, caller there. Though. Do you think that uh, Jennifer Aniston's like people, and she was kind of like, I want to call it Jennifer Anistagram, and they were like, no, it's no. just Jennifer well, Aniston. I don't think so. No, but Nevin's got it. Are you still on the line? Hit me up on Twitter. Yeah, I can do that. Great. Okay, okay we'll get Congrats, your email address. Dude. We'll Congrats. send you those tickets. Okay, you cool. Go. So three winners so far. Look at this. Oh, All right, we have another. Two we have another. More. Two more left. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hello. Yeah. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Yep, he just hung up. Oh, mm. that's sad. Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Josh from Atlanta. All right, oh, Josh. Hey, Josh. So, Josh, Josh, I'm assuming you'll be able to make it. Should you win? If I win, I will be there. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. All right. Tough week in Atlanta sports, but uh, I'm going to hope you win these tickets, my dude. All right. Who do I think is a better musician than Prince? (laughs) And we all disagree. Oh, uh, T-Swizzle. Yeah! T-Swizzle! Shake it off! Josh, get down to Orlando! Look at that. So we have a lot of winners here today. Make sure you hit up Riley. We'll email you. So we have one set. One set left. If you can be in the Florida area, you could win two tickets to the Schmodown this Saturday night. Corruption versus the Founding Fathers. And remember, anybody who has tickets, anybody has a chance to be placed in a raffle to win a trip to Los Angeles next season. To pick me as their manager. That's right. All right, last one here. You're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hello. 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 Hi. Oh, I'm through. What's going on, folks? What's up? Hello. Hey. This hey. Is Raphael from Tampa. All oh, right. Well, you're, you're, you're not too far away. All right. So here we go. Here's your shot. Um, you have one question. You can use Ask a Schmo. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> what nickname does Roxy want us to use for her? Oh my goodness! That's my son's name, RJ. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, you want? Look, we got some great callers here today. So you're headed. You're gonna see us. You're in Tampa now. You'll be in Orlando on the 19th. Hey, that so, is what's up. Hey, can I ask you guys a quick question? Absolutely, you can. Yeah, you got yeah. it. <laughs> is uh, Mark doing any shows? Are you guys doing a comedy show? No, out there as well? I don't believe we are this time around. Um, we it just it just wasn't in the cards. We we talked about it, but no, not going to happen. A lot of time in the warm up though, he does do like a five minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll thing. do some stuff yeah. there, but he means a, a, like an official show. A lot of people have been asking that. Yeah. No, we're not doing it this time around. But we are going to be doing a lot more of those uh, next season. Uh, so just thank you for asking, and thank All you right. for one, uh, more, one more quick question. You okay. I got you guys. Okay. I can't believe I got through. <laughs> yeah. Um, the tickets you gave me, I hate to be greedy, but can I upgrade them to meet and greet because I would like to meet some of these fuckers. Well, <laughs> the meet and greets we don't have any available for. If you, you you're always able, I think you'll be able to do. If you go to the site, if you want to upgrade them too, I can put you in touch with Jonathan. But uh, but right now the 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 GAs are the only ones that we have at the moment. Can, oh man, hey, I'll take it. I'm excited to see you guys. I went out to Cali last year, and I walked over to the Collider Building when you guys were at the old place, but I was too chicken shit to go up the store. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I say that like it Perry was? And, um, I saw Perry and Clark. Oh, nice. Time, but I was even there you huge. go. Just checking. Did you say it was Raphael, or what did you say your name was? Raphael. 
Of course, Roxy not paying attention. No, I was paying attention. <laughs> yeah. It was hard to hear. Awesome. Well, listen, man, we'll see you on Saturday night. Thank you for calling in. Thank you to all you guys for calling in and for the crew here today. Thank you for Darina. Darina, we'll see you next week. Yes. Uh, well, Friday. Thursday. I'll be back next Friday. Next not Friday. Not Thursday. Oh, so you'll be yes, back. You'll all right. Be on you're on vacation. Yes, I am going to disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. You will be here on Triangler. Thursday Triangler. for our pre tape oh, show. Oh, yeah, the pre tape. Right. Yes. yes. Nice. We will all be here. Roxy oh, that's true. will be back on Monday. On Thursday. After the pre tape show. Uh, Josh McCuga, Mark Riley, Cody and, Hall, and Alex. Wednesday. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Jamie Kennedy. Kennedy tomorrow. Tomorrow. I thought today well, was Wednesday. Well, because tomorrow we have Jamie Kennedy. There you go. Jamie Kennedy on the yeah. show, everybody. So, yeah. Yo, Christian that's Rubicolo's huge. It is. <laughs> All right, listen. Hey, uh, and real quick, make sure you guys go check out the Halloween Horror Nights video. Yes. A lot yes. of people put a lot of effort yes. into that. Uh, and it's I put a lot co- of sweat tears and, and blood uh, and blood yeah. and it's on the collider live channel on the collider live yeah make channel. sure you do views that. up because it, it's amazing it. it's worth it's worth your views for it's, it's a lot of fun especially if you're a fan of the show thank you to frank for taking care of that and once again make sure you get those tickets at the for both saturday and december 7th for the meet and greet the big expo we'll see you tomorrow